Welcome to another episode of the Grappling Love podcast. Uh, today I am joined with Dr. Amir, Amin, Dr. Amir Islami, and the Desert Lion, Khair Ismail. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I mean, yeah. I, bro, I was gonna say, like, I thought I'd start this off because I haven't spoke to you about this. Have you guys seen Top Gun? Yeah. Maverick, no, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Bro, it is such a good film, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. No. It's it's like you can actually back in the eighties. It's 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 but it's it's how do I put this, man? Better than the first one. You've seen the first one? No, no, no. Yeah, no, it's better. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I think it's better than the first one, bro. No, no, no. I, I I like the fact that you can just watch it with your family, bro, and it's it's just a good clean movie. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. there's no. But to be fair, most of Tom Cruise films are like that. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I've Mission Impossible, seen, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. But the the thing was for me, there was hardly any CGI. So oh, you know what most of the because I was asking Alperin about it. Yeah, because Mac Ten. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you would have turned into like a flame of fire. <laughs> but you know the bit where he ejected? Yeah. He goes, it's imp- like you can't eject at Mach 10. Mach 10 is 7,000 kilometers an hour. So think about ejecting at that speed, bro. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a red mist. <laughs> It'd be a red <laughs> mist, bro. But I just, I just liked it was, the acting was good. There was no funny business. They didn't insert any funny business in there, bro. But I feel like all the, you know, all the flight scenes, they were all real. real. Yeah, they were real, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And it's kind of rare to kind of see that in a film, man. Yeah. I know Christopher Nolan, like his, his movies, he, he has this thing where he uses minimal CGI. So is that a Christopher Nolan film? No, 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 it's okay. not. But I'm like, his the other, like, for example, you know Inception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the scenes there were like, they built the sets, you know, the sets that... Um, Amazing. Um, so you see most of his films that you watch. Uh, obviously, Inception, so he, he, there was obviously those, those bits with the, the, you know, the streets were falling yeah, 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 over. Yeah. But he's very much like the Lucas back in the day. Do you remember all the Star Wars stuff? There was no CGI. Yeah, but the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I was into to say it was so well was done. Sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So well bro. done. But yeah, I, was, I watched it with the kids. But do you think because was... they they've done less CGI, they have to focus more on the story? Yeah, 100%, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but also, yeah. as a, as a, as, a, as somebody who's watching it, you know it's real. I say real, but yeah, you, yeah. you, you know... How do I put it? The, the action is, is real, the bro. The question is, who's the bad guys? Were it the Russians? Or the yeah, Iranians? so that's the thing. They didn't mention, <laughs> they didn't the mention who it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. bro. It was not, it was not, yeah, it was that's just, what I, was they, they, I, I think that was quite good. That I thought it. they were Iranians, but no, no, they, they just, didn't really. I think it because they just left it. Yeah, open. I think the first one's the same. They didn't say. They're all wearing helmets, yeah. bro. You can't even see, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Huh? They're all wearing helmets. His name was yeah. Abdullah on his hat. Was it? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> what was it? I don't know who it was. Abdullah Maverick. <laughs> His name was Amin. <laughs> well, imagine there was like a. This is the thing. Like, if you look at Arab countries, they keep buying. Um, they keep buying like military equipment. I've never seen them use it, bro. <laughs> it's like you know. It's like it's like you know things on the shelf. Yeah, it's, it's like, just it's like, like a pottery. collect collector like pottery, collectors <laughs> items. Look at yeah. my blends. If you look at Saudi, bro, how much billions and billions of pounds they spend on military equipment, bro. Collecting dust. It's like a well, I guess they're using it. Well, anyway, the less said about that, the better, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so today, uh, what I wanted to kind of chat to you guys about was um, uh, I had a conversation with, uh, obviously the past few weeks, people have been getting their GCSE results back. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course, yeah, so GCSEs, and A-levels, A-levels as well. Degrees as well coming yeah. out. Yeah. So it kind of like, um, it kind of made me think back at my time, you know, growing up, getting those results and um, having those conversations with, with my kid as well and and I, I was I was thinking, subhanAllah, look at this here. Like between the ages of sixteen to about I'm talking specifically for men, yeah? Kids, boys, yeah. You got like the sixteen to kind of twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, yeah. A lot happens in that mm. in that period of time, yeah. Before that you're kind of under the under the umbrella of your family, mm. you know, you got your school, you get support, you know. Um, obviously, fourteen to sixteen, you know, for, you, know you go to puberty age, and then you, you hit sixteen, you go to A levels. There's mad pressure, you know, with the A levels. Then you got to pick university, and then you do your three years of university. Then you you got to find work, right? So in that kind of period, um, there's a lot lot going on. So I wanted to kind of dedicate this podcast just to kind of so if either parents who are listening to this, yeah, I've got kids of that age, or what kind of stuff they they should expect. Yeah, because we all got kids roughly similar ages. Mm. Uh, obviously, we, we we train 
we'd coach guys that are, you know, of those ages and I know of my background in teaching, you're a doctor as well, yeah. yourself, you've coached for how many years? Yeah. So you've seen this happen multiple times, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so to kind of frame the whole conversation would be like, I feel like especially live, especially people from our backgrounds, yeah, yeah. Uh, men, um, there's a bit, there's a lot, it's, it's, it's even, there's even another layer of complexity. Yeah, so I'll give an example. As a man, as, as a boy growing up, like we didn't have girlfriends, yeah? We didn't, we, we tried to kind of keep ourselves um, chaste, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> we, and obviously you, you go to college, there's that whole kind of dating scene there, bruv, and that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. the hormones all over the place and you're trying to keep yourself away from that. So you kind of isolate in that area, bro. And then you go to university, it gets a little bit more sophisticated. You're living the Batman life. Yeah, bro, basically, yeah. Leona. Yeah, exactly. Well, Batman, Bruce Wayne was a playboy, bro. Well, Batman. More, more Batman I, I, I himself. Said, I, said bat, I said Batman. Yeah, that's right. Batman, that's, you're yeah. in your bat cave. you're kind of like... Yeah. And we had this conversation yeah, this yeah, week because yeah, we yeah. always have these conversations. So, so for parents, uh, for guys that are in that age range, 16 <coughs> to 25, bro, basically, yeah. Um, let's just talk a little bit about your experiences growing up yeah that age I know we've all got varied differences and you went to med school yeah. he went to the hard <laughs> but well, you went to you so what you went to the hard not you so I went to the G school <laughs> <laughs> not a hustlers university <laughs> <laughs> no, but obviously you, you went to college and you went to uni, yeah. but obviously you were fighting at the time yeah, and all yeah. this stuff, yeah. So yeah. it'd be good to kind of share sixteen. Let's let's talk the first phase, which is sixteen to eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So what let's start with Khalid first. Start with me, yeah. Yeah, we'll start with you. So what was your experiences like what going through? Like? I didn't know what I wanted to do. So um I was actually just having a conversation today. I said it's weird. From fourteen it feels like up to 14, you're just playing. Mm. And then all of a sudden you just get this slap, like GCSEs, you need to pass your GCSEs. And I think, cause I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was very unsure. And I don't think I was very academic. Like in the sense that not, I'm not, uh, I wasn't clever or smart, intelligent and stuff. It was just that I, I didn't find um, Anything in the like stuff. an anchor to come. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you know, some people yeah. are artistic. Yeah. I, I, yeah. We play. We played. I love playing sports. He was a sportsman. Michelle. I was playing sports, but didn't take P as a GCSE. Mm. Or but you played very high level sport, kid. Yeah, in all different divisions. Yeah, yeah. So like nationally, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm um, and I think that, and we didn't have the guidance. So mm. I think that period, that time, and everyone used to think was. The conventional method was you need to pass GCSEs, yeah, get GCSEs, sorry, yeah. go to college, college, you go to university. And I was like, I, I don't know what I want to do. So how do you, what's your career path now? Yeah. So I didn't come out with the best of GCSEs. I come out with that like four or five, I think. What, and do you mind sharing? What? What you got? I got a B, two Cs and a D, I what think. Do you remember exactly what you got? Like? No. Nah. As in? in no, nah, I was not, but I completely. Blur, wasn't it? What about no, maths? Well, no, I didn't pass maths. Like what, Z? I don't even know what maths was. <laughs> What about English? All I knew was to write my name. <laughs> <laughs> English? No, no, no. no. I, I, thought, I, thought nah, I, failed, I failed English. I failed maths. I got science, business, and something else. Okay, wouldn't you have been a great uh, person in the American system where they said, right, this guy needs a scholarship? Yeah. Let's get him into, the, uh, yeah. like most of the wrestlers that they do really well, that they've got masters and PhDs and stuff. I, I talk... I, I imagine I, you've had that. Sure, you know, you know the education system at the moment? Yeah, I, I like I, I think because we we talk up we we we're around people who are educators as well. Yeah. So like in schools, I always said to them, I go, you missed children like me. It's and I that. go, I go, you actually miss. It. I go, we. It's later on in life that I started reading more yeah. books yeah. and started yeah. trying to educate yeah. myself about yeah. stuff. Yeah. So but earlier on, I could have done that earlier if I had some sort. Of, bro, you're telling me about King Henry and his eight wives. <laughs> I couldn't relate, bro. I just couldn't relate. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't care about his eight wives. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Okay, we, we, we were in areas. You didn't where have eight, you had seven, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he must have had four or something. Tip, tip oh, the Marie, Marie oh, dead but the, the thing I was saying to Kay was, but at the same time, Kay, we were in environments where you wasn't really supported. No. Do, do, what school did you go to? I went to Loxford High School. Um, mm. 
It's actually an outstanding school now. Yeah. Mm. But our schooling system was so bad. Like, I think mm. Einstein said this. If, if you, if you um, judge a fish by its ability to climb yeah. a tree... It would always fail. It always fail, exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 But it's what you keep saying. I don't believe... Uh, Mm. Oh, actually, I'll let Shay oh, say yeah. about everything because his 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 story is really nice as well. Yeah. Sure. Oh, but yeah. it was just like uh, I think for me it was. What I, about your dad and your mum and everyone? They were called cool, they kind of thing, but everyone was like because I had my older brother and he yeah. went to college uni and he was a bit more academic. I remember him used to. Well, I'm about it. Did he help you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he had his own stuff going. We're all different. It? No different. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing is, I, I, as a prime example is this: we would. Co- I remember I used to come home. And he would sit up and read Mashallah. and do Mashallah. his work for four hours. Mashallah. 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 I'll be out playing basketball and, and, and I would get, that's, that's what I wanted to do. But there was, I didn't understand that there was a, if there was a career avenue that way. But that's what I've, how I felt I could express myself. Yeah. And I didn't understand the value of mm. education at that time. Now I do. Like now, I think now, now, now I tell everyone to, you need to learn all this stuff. But it was like, at that time, I think the teachers we had and the people around us couldn't, it was a job to them. Yeah. So when they when they met kids like us, we were all like, but you know, rough, like well, kind yeah. of thing. So how are you relating to us? Like how, how like you'd ask them, okay, how's algebra gonna, uh, yeah. how am I gonna, what's algebra, algebra gonna help? My yeah. life, yeah. My life, um, I had a sub, they, they were redo, redoing, developing the school. So mm-hmm. I don't know, did you have mobile, the mobile bits? They like the little like little caravans. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Outside, yeah, yeah. So because they, they, you had to go sit in those cab- areas. Port cabins. Port cabins. Port cabins. Yeah. Port cabins so, yeah. so, so for my third year, fourth year, fifth year, we was in port cabins, yeah. and we had replacement teachers all, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a different teacher. Um, primary another, another time, I remember science. I'm lucky. I'm telling you, bro. I'm like I know there's very guys done really well in school and stuff, but I think they um, they actually had that support from other people. We, mm-hmm. uh, for me personally, I didn't know how to revise. Yeah. I didn't know how where, where what how to pick up like I, I even like to do revision questions. I didn't know any of that yeah. stuff. No one ever showed us. It was like and if you had extra tuition, if you had all that stuff, then it w- would work for you. But I think we were, a lot of people like me yeah. and other kids were through the cracks and we were let down like kind of thing. Oh, That's what. And so if you if you was to go back now, do you think you'd get your GCSEs with what you knew? If I if what like with, what? The, with the information you got now, oh my god, bro. That's what I'm saying to you, you bro. It's you, like you YouTube how to revise. But I remember watching my nephew. He put uh, a video on of a guy revising for an hour, mm. and he sits there and he's like sitting there, and they're both doing revision on YouTube. Yeah, the guy is just like a Amazing, video for one it? two hours. Amazing. So it's like you you got this, and then if you had to do uh, revision questions, you YouTube it, Google yeah. it, yeah. everything's there. It's fun. It's fun. Resources now for us, like, and the thing is that we relied on people to ask. Uh, we used to ask people, "Can you help us with this stuff?" And if they didn't know, then you had nothing. Because you are your surroundings, isn't it? Like We're first gen, brothers. Well, people, who are you yeah. gonna ask? Yeah, your, pa- your, 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 pa- your parents didn't. They didn't know. They're about practically me. just trying to keep you alive. Yeah, and so the food, they, food they, in your mouth. They're like, go school. Yeah, they'll uh, figure it out. Inshallah, like you're gonna yeah. somehow figure it out. And obviously, like I said to you, we might not have been the most academic. Yeah. An academic is. Um, Again, I I, I I think people confuse intelligence and stuff. I got, I got because a lot of the guys I know, but I'm not sure they're very yeah, they, they were very intelligent guys. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You got mint in my mouth. Mint in my mouth, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're intelligent guys, but they just the teachers couldn't get them. But you see, this is what they call student teacher mismatch. Yeah. And so some people are learners in a certain fashion. Some people are teaching in a certain fashion. So you have people who oh yes please you have people who um, would learn. Visually, like literally, visually, yeah. visually, yeah, or, the, or, or they'll learn through. Well, like, what do you reckon? Like, kind of holistic way, or they'll learn, you know, dichotomy. But I'll just say to you, right, one on one is two. Okay, I, I learn like that. And, that you, and if you have a teacher who's very holistic and you have a student who's more of a counseling, reflective student, that's a mismatch right there. But you're like, he's an amazing teacher. What's wrong with him? Well, actually, it's a mismatch. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of that going on when we were growing up. Yeah. 100%. There was yeah. this, um, when I did my PGC, there was this, like, they told us about this experiment and what they did was they got two classes. One was a failing class, one was a outstanding class. And what they did, they told the teachers... I just said that's class. amazing. Allah Mabai. Beautiful. Sorry. Sorry. Very good team. Sure. Thank you very much, good. bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm Thank God you got it right at last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I'm to make it. <laughs> 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 
that's what. <laughs> when you say about the PGC moment. Yeah, so they, they were saying that they got like a, an outstanding class and an <laughs> underperforming class. But they told the teacher that was the, the head of the, the basically teaching the underperforming class that that class was a outstanding class and vice versa for the other class. And their grades went up significantly, bro, because mm. of the attitude of the teacher they had. Because he believed in them, bro, because, do you see what I'm saying? Now, now the thing is with, like what you said with yourself, a, a student like yourself would need more resources, bro. Yeah. And then with resources, cost money. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they didn't have it. And they didn't have the money, bro. Exactly. And that, 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 it just comes down to, yeah. your, uh, basically, the social ladder, bro. Like, where do you fit in? Where'd I, think, you I think Kay would have been a brilliant candidate in the American system. They would have said, this guy's a superior athlete. We need to support his athletics, support his yeah. his progress, but at the same time you have to be academically achieving. Yeah. So then I say, right, we need to get tutors for him because we can't lose him. He's going to win us our our gold in the baseball game but or the, the, the American football Coach game. Carter. Yeah, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? But if you think about it, uh, I mean, what about those support. kids that are not physically gifted? Yeah, that but also struggle academically. They fall through the cracks as well yeah, yeah. because sports yeah, in yeah. America brings. Yeah. If you watch uh, Mike's podcast, he, he he went through the whole mm -hmm. system. And sports brings money into the school. Yeah. Does, yeah. yeah, yeah. does that make sense? That's yeah. why they're That's why they scout the best students. Last chance on Netflix. Last chance you, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they have all these kind of things. So they go to these and they, they bring all the best people in. Yeah, yeah. And try to give them a chance. And obviously, yeah, make money from it. Exactly. Um, but th th it is ha but, but this happened to loads of kids, though. Yeah. yeah. But it's, 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 it's just, it, and, it's, and it's, it's sad to see because there's so many kids that I know personally, or adults now, mm -hmm. grown up, yeah. and you think so, your life could have been so much different. Yeah, 100%. We just didn't have the right people. Sometimes the school might not be able to pick it up, but the parents will. I mean, uh, do you see what I'm saying? But so sometimes parents home. might have more money but and then they can put them in tuition. But, again, bro, but look at the family structure, broken homes. Uh, yeah. You had people, yeah. You, yeah, both parents are working. Yeah. So they, they can't, you're kind of left. Can you do your homework? Do your homework and then leave you to it. Yeah. You hang around with wrong people, bro. You're not doing nothing. So you can see it was like, but you know if you think about it, look at you look at George Bush, George Bush, <laughs> Boris Johnson, yeah, yeah. You can't tell me this guy was. <laughs> if you went to our school, but you, do you see what I'm saying? Think about it, yeah. <laughs> like you think, uh, I think who said? I can't remember who said this. He goes, "The world's run by C grade students." Mm. Of course it is. Do you see what I'm saying? We're not run. The world's not run by people who've got A stars and amazing mm. academics, bro. The world's run by people who've got B and C grades. They're in the background, though. Yeah. Of I course they're in the I background, but they don't run things though, no. bro. Because if you look at it's about but can, can I just say yeah, regarding Khalid Alam and because I've read your, your training programs, your your stuff that you and that's the way your brain works. And that's actually a creative thinker, yeah, which yeah. is reflective, which is basically the kind of articles that you need to be an academic, like a superior but no one's picked up on it. And it, it's just you see what I'm saying? Like, see, I can write Alam and I know about, about my own stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure. So but this is I said to you, this is later on I started but it, but Kate was there. Yeah, it was there. Because no one potentiated it. No, yeah, exactly. And I, and I think you know, you know, I, I'm even when I train. When I train, if someone said to me, "Do you 500 punches?" I'd be like, "Why?" So if you mm. can't answer that, yeah. I'm gonna do and, it, yeah. and I can't ca and I can't see how it's gonna help me to. But you see that that's that that pattern of thinking. Yeah. Is a creative mind that's actually trying to understand the problem at hand, rather yeah. than just okay, I do what you say, boss. Yeah, I, I, I don't do that. I don't do that. I've, 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 I've done this all throughout my life, and even like what I said to you, when I when I would ask, so if a t if you ask if a student said to you, uh, uh, Sheikh, wh why are you doing this move? You'll explain. Okay, the, yeah. this guy might do this to you, and then this is, yeah. and then you go, okay, yeah. cool. Then the guy has an understanding of it. Yeah. Why am I learning ki about King Henry, bro? I know it's history, yeah. but why? What is that got to do with my life? And to be honest, it had nothing. Um, but, but imagine, okay, imagine they put a spin on this. Actually, at that particular time, there was this thing that was happening, and because of his, uh, you're like, oh, I see why he done. We obviously it's not ethical, but you're like, yeah. but it was but also history. It's, 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 no, it's, like, it's, it's, it's like memorizing facts. Like, I don't yeah. memorize facts. Even like uh, the Romeo and Juliet story, for example, boy meets girl, all this stuff. But you could talk about like the family gangs and all this yeah. stuff, yeah. So, like, and, it, and that would relate to, to yeah, that. yeah, today. But, yeah. but it'll be like you just need to learn it, and it was like okay, and I, I think. It's how you package it, isn't it? That's what happens. Yeah, so you're not able to so relate. Interesting to what you said about that. West Side Story was about that's how they turned it. Roman Juliet was basically about the two gangs. Yeah. Two, two like Sicilian, whatever yeah, they were, gangs. Capulets and Montague. Yeah. yeah. But, that, but they put it as a gang kind gang of. They're changes. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other one? Macbeth, I think it is, where they had. Yeah, um, a similar one like that. Do as you well. remember it was done on a. There was, was one, the BBC did the production on a council estate. Macbeth, but on a council estate. Yeah, but. It was so good, but, bro. But it, it is what it is. And, exactly and the teacher made us watch it, and I was like, right, this, this, I, I was able you to actually, digest you it. You can actually reflect it. And, and that, um, Leonardo DiCaprio film. Yeah, that was good. That was so good, man. Yeah. 
Was that? Did you watch it? Rumblefish? No. No, that uh, Romeo and Juliet, but Le- Leonardo DiCaprio yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rumblefish. Remember Rumblefish? <laughs> Do you remember Rumblefish? Rumble. Are you Rumblefish? right, bro? Have you seen Rumblefish? No. It's a really old film. Jack, pull it up. Rumblefish. This was one of the original. Um, Rumblefish. You know, like Reservoir Dog Star. This was one of the original ones. It's got some old school. Um, so you went from Leonardo DiCaprio to this. How'd you get to that, bro? No, 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 this film was like about gangs. Oh, it was really messed up. Was it? Was it in the night? Uh, early eighties. Yeah. So when the Warriors came out, Warriors, that, that stuff, kind of yeah, era. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I just thought I'd pull okay. it up. No, you, <laughs> you went left, bro. I was like Rumblefish. <laughs> Rumblefish. Um, so I don't really want to have have this academic debate, yeah, because I think that's part of it, yeah. But I think it's more of. I will, we'll, we'll get to you, Amir, as well. The, the, I think what we want to get to by the end is what's going on here mentally, mm. bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You're, you're the coming of age. Okay. You know that coming yeah. of age so kind me, of thing. So, yeah, so, that's. So, so for me, I think I was still young. Yeah. In, in my head at 16, I didn't know what. I, I, I don't know if I was young, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Then I took a year out and started uh, playing professionally a sport. Inshallah. And then um, that place closed down. I went back to studying at 17. Still didn't know what we'd do. Started A levels. When the back end, you were still doing kickboxing and stuff. I was still fighting, yeah. Still so fine. how did you get to, into A levels with those? No, no. So what happened? I went to college and then I had to reset maths. So this is what this is what happens now. So that yeah. whole mm. that GCSE uh, where I didn't know what I wanted to do yeah. caused so much Big backlog of people later yeah. on. Yeah. So now yeah. I started. Okay, I want to get to college. Okay, you can't go to college if you want to do A levels. You need to reset. Maths, English, so to reset maths, what English. An, what a like an obstruction, like, I don't want to do that again. Yeah. That, but that's why, that's yeah. why, and the thing was, though, it was like, because I, I, cause I was pl- trying to uh, do the pro thing in, in between at 16 to 17, it didn't work out. I didn't, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't getting where I wanted to get to. So I went back and um, went back to college. You know? Went back to, yeah. so that's so 17, when I went back to college, then it was like, oh, okay, I need to do all this stuff to get back in college, because just to even to please the parents as well. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so I done, done, done the resets. Started A levels and I was like, I ain't gonna pass this, man. This is, I, I'm not. It's a jump from GCC to A level. Yeah, and real, even bro. again, man. so again, I'm, I, I wasn't re- and I couldn't get into it. So I thought, okay, let me do a GMVQ. GMVQ, I flew for it I'm because it was, it was more course, It was course, coursework yeah. based. I could. What, do, I, what was the GMVQ in? So I done business of finance first. Then, then when I spoke to the teacher, she said to me, um, "You can, you can go to uni with this." I got distinction, and she goes, "Me, go, Masha, yeah." So she goes, oh, "Me, you, you can go into uni with this." And so I, I, I was like, "I don't want, I don't want to do business and finance." So I went and done a foundation course in property development. It's fun a lot. Yeah. So I done, a, I done, a, <laughs> so I done a, but it was a new course, yeah, so yeah. it's completely new. So I thought, okay, this is quite interesting. So and that, and that time was the nineteen ninety eight, ninety nine. So it was more the the the, the housing boom. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I was yeah, like, yeah. okay, I, I'm interested in this the stuff. Millennium, lead yeah. Up to the millennium so so I, I went, yeah. so I started doing this '99, done one year of uh, um, foundation course, and then I went into, and then my actual degree was uh, leisure development and strategic develop, uh, strategic management. So basically, yeah. it touches on all elements of property developing, but in the leisure field. So now it was like now I was going back to kind of back into sports, sports, yeah, sports, kind of leaning into that sports side because I was always because I was still fighting professionally that time. So from 18, 19, 20, 21, I was still fighting professionally, and then I w- then got into this. Um, I think the martial arts. Is, I keep saying it. I think the martial arts is what when I started doing it properly is when it helped me get into um, or focus down into studying, yeah. and I kind of had started having a path for what I wanted to do. Because I feel like. I mean, let's go to you, bro. So, run us through. Sure, Amir's got a nice story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 16 so I was, was going to say, Kay's story is very similar to Reza's story. So, you know Reza. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows Reza. I'm Your sure. brother. My older Reza. brother. So, he, yeah. he very similarly loved fighting, always loved boxing, loved wrestling, loved judo. Was very was a pioneer. Of, I I believe he was one of the first jujitsu people ever. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> like, we had a video of him showing me all his stuff and... Uh, and even, you know, so he was like that. And people just thought he was a knucklehead. But, you know, deep down, he was really intelligent. Mm. So uh, he smashed his GCSE English, but didn't do very well in science or maths. Just about got into college. And then, uh, but he went later, but he just loved training, loved fighting. Done dormant work for like 20 years, uh, 15, 20 years. And then he got into university and people don't realise he's got a degree in law. No, no way. way. Yeah, he's got no a degree in law. And then he, he, said, he, said, he said to my mum, he says, mum, 
okay, I'm done. Okay? That's Here you go. You. I'm done right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Masha, so, but so What does he do now? Uh, he, at the moment, interesting, he went into the charity sector. Right. And then he became uh, an, an engineer, um, uh, not a civil engineer. So he works with London Transport. He fixes yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, you know, he said he said to me, "I just like it. it's quiet in the nights. So I go work in the tunnels. I fix all the wires and stuff because I just want to be on my own." And, but mashallah, and he and I said to I said to um, my mom, "It's like I was saying to you, if someone just there was this one English teacher, Mr. Levy. I think you don't remember Mr. him. Mr. Levy, yeah, lovely yeah. guy. He he actually speaks Farsi, yeah. Does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he from Cypriot? <laughs> uh, no, that's Mr. Loisy, Mr. Loisy. Mr. He's Levy. Levy, really, and his wife, Mrs. Levy, she was a science uh, um, Vaguely, teacher. just really yeah. old guy. He probably just left his side. So he, I think he's an Iranian, but he's um, Jewish. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, sure he's Jewish. Right. So he, but he used to love talking to my mom. He said, "Your son, he's really intelligent, but he just loves fighting." And he just fights everyone. And I remember as I was saying to him once, he goes, he says something funny. He goes, uh, he goes, I think the shaitan was joyriding me because <laughs> I just wanted to fight everyone because I see much want to fight them. Um, but that's what I'm saying. So th- that's why when you sing to us as panelists, it's like if someone just said, "Hey, let's sit and let's talk about this." You can fight, you can train, but if I just kind of like, you know, you really sm- you love reading, and he loved like studying. But well, like when you when I think of Reza, I think you know this jock, you know, fight, headbutt, smash, kill. But no, actually, he's much really into studying. Yeah, so uh, I'm waiting for your thing. Oh, okay, my thing. Uh, Sixteen, yeah. So I knew when I was about, I think. 12 or 13? So, so you, you were kind of, you're on the other spectrum. Because I'm like, I was like, hi, but I didn't know what I wanted to do, bro. Mm. But you're kind of on the other side. you like, so I, very I, young, you kind of yeah, figured I, out. Like, so I it was, that I got introduced to the Quran about 12, 13. Obviously, we grew up in Shia, alhamdulillah. Yeah. And I, I was received from my stepfather the Quran and mashallah, bless him, Bijani. And I was sit read of him. It was all in English and he'll try to teach me bits and pieces. And I came across this ayah that blew me away, right? And obviously, you know, as a kid, you're like, you think you're a superhero, yeah? And the ayah said, if you save one life, so you save the whole of mankind. And I just went, I can save everyone by just saving one person, right? And um, my mom used to tell stories about back home, you know, to always bust the gut in your you know your soul will just get so upset yeah, her sister died this age her brother died people people just dying from famine from just you know i think her sister died of dehydration because of, there wasn't any iv fluids just ridiculous stories right and i just went no i can't do this anymore i need to save a life and that was it just that's how my brain patterns work and every year i was thinking i want to be a doctor, be a doctor. and well every time i mentioned it to somebody they'll say to me nah but no no and they, first you just say your postcode E5, I didn't understand that, I postcode, Hackney. And then they said to me, your, um, your, your single parent house, your mother's a cleaner, your father's a wrestler, it, how are you going to get to med school? And I was like, no, I'm going to be a doctor. Be a doctor. And I kept on getting people just saying, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. And I was like, no, mm. I can, and I will. And I think when I got to GCSEs, alhamdulillah, you know, by the grace of Allah, I'm trying to smash them. Went to A levels, and it's interesting. I had this conversation with my kids. What, what about your other problems that you have? Like, if you don't mind sharing, yeah, yeah, sure. If so, you don't mind well, sharing, but yeah, yeah, I would love. Yeah, it's important that people know this. So, for a long time, I actually thought I, 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 you know, I didn't like English. So, f- oh yeah, that's a good point. So, alhamdulillah, all my GCSEs done really I don't well. Know if, Mahmoud, you don't, you don't know this. What you want to say now? About what? All right, okay, go on. So I, I just scraped through my English with two Bs, like literally, like skin of my teeth. Yeah. Everything else was because it, uh, numbers make sense, and I can see stuff. Alhamdulillah, in, like patterns make sense to me. And then um, I always thought I was oh, because I'm foreign, I don't like it. But I used to see Reza reading, Mashu, and I was like, I don't understand why I don't like reading. I'm really scared of reading. And then when I went to med school, uh, college, okay, I chose subjects that reflect what I enjoy. All the sciences, maths, chemistry, physics, further maths, and I thought, yeah, I can do this, and just. So anyway, in regards to what Coach Khadr was saying, I, I um, found out later on, postgraduate, that I was dyslexic. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah, I did not no, I'm bad. I was, I was, dysle- I was dyslexic, I've, right? I've worked with him for over 10 years now, bro. <laughs> you, can, you can see all the <laughs> signs, <laughs> innit? <laughs> I'm, brof, I, I'm not can saying I, it in a way where you guys are doctor, bro, yeah? Can I, can but, I say it? But I'm like, bro, how the hell are you I, spelling a, a, a car with a Z, bro? How does, how does that work? <laughs> can, I, can I say what it was? Because it fits. It's not even spelling, bro. You know, it's kind of like. But I look back. I look yeah. back, and I realize actually I was because 
couple of things. So one example was when I used to message my wife on CFAX, we never had email back then. Remember, we yeah, had CFAX, there, right? Bro. Bro, just just your listen. Wife on listen, 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 guys. Listen. Just so you know, if you're born before I don't know <laughs> after two thousand, it's basically it's you teletext. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, Zach, like, bring up CFAX while he's there telling the story. So, it? anyway, I was sending the message, and then obviously my wife with the remote control, bro. Yeah, yeah, M- Mashi was helping me, okay, showing right. me how to use it, right? And anyway, so I did write a long message, and then she spoke to the brother who introduced me to her. So, two different brothers who knew of me, and she said to the brother, "Is, is can you speak English?" <laughs> <laughs> I went, how dare she? <laughs> I'm a final year med student. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't wait, actor. Wait, 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 wait. But you said Mashi helped you. That gave me away. But that's the point. So I've seen Mashi right as well, bro. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find facts? Bro, all I can think it's a fax machine, bro. That's no, no, teletext, bro. Oh, teletext, bro. Yeah. Teletext. Teletext. Google don't go that far back. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> no way, this, yeah. bro. This. this. Yeah, yeah. That was it. That was yeah. it. That's but how, it. I didn't even know you can message from there. You can, you can. You can. To who, though? I, I sent it to an email. Bro, how old are you, bro? Can I, I tell remember something? teletext, bro. But, but can I, I tell you, you guys are going to love, right? So I never had email. We're going to laugh. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Ouch! Is it worse? Love. <laughs> so I, I I got my first email when I was twenty twenty six, twenty five, twenty six, and so I was what year was that? So I, I was seven. Yeah. To, so I was uh, three years postgraduate. So I was uh, as an SHO working in palliative care. So you went through the whole of medical school without think, receiving or sending think, an email. I think I had an email, but I didn't know how to use it. It's, I'm no joke, yeah. yeah. So anyway, when I sat down with the consultant, Dr. Alqua, she said to me, right, I need your email. And I went, I haven't got one. She goes, oh, doctor, I'm stop being <laughs> funny. I went, Pat, I don't have an email. She goes, no way. So how did you get your assignments and stuff? Everything was done either given to you in hand. Textbooks or, 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 or textbooks. Or you were given like, um, so you go to the lecture hall and they'll tell you what you need to be done. And when you were searching journals, you went on something called Medline. So Medline's online now, yeah. but Medline back then was like, you know, it was, and they come out and they got little dots no. on the side. And you go, he goes, right, I need to find this journal. Where is it? Somewhere in Scotland. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I didn't go to Scotland, but yeah, it's one of those yeah. ones. You'd go to this library and they'll pull out this box and go, <laughs> and be like, here you go. And I was like, someone's ripped that page up. <laughs> the one that I need. <laughs> You know, so it was like that, wow, right? But I'm, I'm sure there was, because when we were at med school, they were doing... Um, but also at the... A- MSN? A- MS Messenger? Yeah, MSN. MSN, yeah, 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 MSN, yeah, MSN right? Yeah. So that, they were like, you know, keyboard warriors back yeah, then, sending yeah. messages and having... I was like, what are you doing, guys? So anyway, so she got she got me my first email. So that's been from... From that then, yeah. Okay, that, that was my only email I ever had. Um, I remember trying to convince him that we need... Uh, Google, Mail, uh, was no, it yeah, Gmail? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, Drive. No, bro, the... Uh, Legion needed an email thing. He goes, why, why do we need email? I'm, I'm thinking to him, like, how am I going to explain? Yeah, but that's the thing, though. See, that's what I keep... That's like the conversation I had with you earlier. Yes. Certain things, bruv, you just need to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bruv, just... Do you tr- I said to him, do you trust me, bro? So, yeah, he yeah, goes, yeah. yeah. And I tried to explain to him what cloud... Uh, uh, saving the files in the cloud, yeah. That was yeah. like Rocky, innit? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, exactly like Rocky. Yeah, yeah. So I remember telling him like, you don't have to save it on your computer. It's all in the cloud, and we can collaborate on the document. He's like, bruv, like, yeah. So make I, it make sense. And now, mashallah, he's like, yeah, you know, not for me. Yeah, yeah. Anything that you guys say, I'm, I'm like, yeah, just show yeah, me to do he it. Figures it out, bro. Yeah. But with, I give an example. So choosing colleges, yeah. I went to. So what my daughter goes to the college I was gonna go to, yeah, because it's close to home. Yeah, and um, six form. Then six form. So yeah. I, I went. So I went to a few colleges. And I'll tell you a funny story. So in, in the summertime, we'd go for a few days to sit there and learn and stuff. And I went into the chemistry class and the chemistry just said, and this goes to show how weird our household is. Yeah? Chemistry said to us, right, there's a, back, there's a soundtrack that's going to come up with this particular uh, uh, ke- chemistry you know, lecture or whatever. Well, there was big ass TVs. They soundtrack? Put, there was some soundtrack that came on when, when this particular chemistry oh, lecture was going right, on. Right. And it's one of those TVs, you know the ones you will yeah, in and oh open yeah, up the yeah. frame, yeah? And uh, he goes, if anyone can tell me what the soundtrack is, I've been asked this question for the last 20 years. 
I would give them this it's a massive jar of Smarties, right? Huge, big one. Because I've been sitting here for like donkeys months. You know, never gets it right. He just get, gets a brand new one every couple of months. And then um, the thing comes on and I hear the sound. I was like, oh my God, I know what it is. And I don't want to say it because it's so airy fairy. <laughs> it was Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> 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 and I went, can I put my hand up? He goes, yes. I said, I know the soundtrack. And the guy goes, excuse me. I went, um, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Because, <laughs> you know, unfortunately, <laughs> well, it's unfortunately, the same person who should have helped me with the Quranic studies and stuff was my f- stepfather at the time, who loved Pink Floyd. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and I was listening to him, and I was sitting in a car with him. <laughs> and then he gave me this. I mean, so the point of getting it, so I went to this thing called Freshers Fair, and I went, Freshers This is fair? for uni or? College. College, college, yeah. I went to Freshers, and I was like, okay, this is weird. There's people having part, like, what is this? All these different groups. And I, it goes, right, now go Freshers Fair and go join the groups. And I was like... What do you mean groups for? Um, like, basketball group, oh, this group, that group, singing group, whatever group. And I was like, oh. And then someone said, oh, you're... Um, we." At that time, I was doing a little bit of teaching here and there, some taekwondo stuff, a little bit of wrestling, just bits and pieces. And so, oh, yeah. oh, you do the taekwondo and the, and the wrestling. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes to me, why don't you open a group? And I went, open a group? I, I want to study. And I went, something... Wallahi, something didn't sit right in my chest. And then I went to Hackney Sixth Form in Castleham Road. Just for one day, I sat, I went there, dirty college, mash up chairs, and I sat down. Most of the guys in the class were post grad, like they were in their 20s, early 20s, mid 20s. And it was like primary school table, primary school chairs. The teacher walks in, he uses profanity when he walks in. I was like, <laughs> all right, I'm at home now. I'm at home. <laughs> I said, I'm going to do really well here. No. And that, 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 that was, that's how I chose the colleges. I was like, because I was seeking out somewhere where I could feel I'm going to, yeah, I'm not going to get the You could relate. But a great source of he guided me that way, right? Yeah, so, sure. same, same med school, <coughs> ended up going to Charing Cross, which became part of Imperial College in St. Mary's. And uh, there was, there was loads of, like, trash there. Absolute. F- so, you know, you talk about how the world is run by C-grade people, yeah. like C-grade students. You can see it. And when I was sitting down, Talking to them. Firstly, they thought I was the cleaner. What do you mean? Because I couldn't speak very good English. <laughs> I was like, you know, hey, bros, what's going on, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously there was. <laughs> this is the, uh, there should be a film about this. Like, <laughs> like there was. Uh, was it, uh, uh, there is a film, Goodwill Hunting, bro. Have you seen Goodwill oh, Hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so there, there, was, there was these cleaners who definitely, I think, they were North African aunties. They were deaf. Definitely, bro. Oh, oh, oh make fun deaf. of me. No. Um, and they, so they, because I remember one of them speaking and. When I look back, it sounded like, mashallah, either Maghribi or al jazeera and, and I was like, oh, and they saw the Quran, because I had the Quran in my, because I stayed in, in halls of residency for like four months, I couldn't do, maybe maybe six months, I couldn't do more, I was like, I can't do this. And I was like, no, no, I, I said, yani, khale, khale, let me let me hoover, no, you don't, and she said, no, I said, no, please. So I'd go around hoovering the first floor, yeah, so the ground floor. And she was and getting paid. Yani, <laughs> <laughs> like it's embarrassing, isn't it? Seeing like someone like, that's like, like my mom. look like your your, your, your mom, mom or someone. Yeah, mom, yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> auntie, yeah. my auntie's got like she got it set, but she got it. But the, the, the <laughs> you, you, you missed the spot there. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did, mama. <laughs> and also, in my room, I had like the ton furs. I had the samurai. Obviously, my room wanted to make it like my bedroom. Yeah, and they're like, is it? Were you? Did you have your own room? Had my own room. Alhamdulillah. Had Alhamdulillah. my own sink. We had to share the kitchen and the toilet, which was comical. And then um, well, that must be fun. It was for honestly, Kate, it was it was miserable. We could do a whole podcast about it. But the Let's thing is, any. <laughs> so the thing is, I, I I got there and I, and I could see all of these pretentious, pompous lot. And I was like, there's a handful of them that were okay. The rest were like living this weird life. And, uh, you know, and it wasn't until I started interviewing candidates for medical school that I actually could see what we didn't have. Oh, I've done the Duke of Edinburgh. I've I've gone to the Twin Peaks, I, I went to Africa and Sahari, and I was like, bruv, I'd be lucky if I could get out of the M25. Yeah. Did you know, do you know what I'm saying? I was like, so this was, in, you, you was nearly entitled, you know, you was empowered, entitled, given all of the luxuries, and that's why you're here today. That's why when I hear people saying, oh, I had this tutor for well, there's this. There's nothing wrong with that as well. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And they've had those. Um, they were there. They were giving them as a benefit. It's just that we just didn't have what they had, didn't it? But what, what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying is, so, you know, like, again, look at Coach Khalid, look at Reza, like, 
if they had all of those things in place, I mean, Allah knows best. We don't know what could happen. Maybe yeah, people well, still feel worse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> an academic killer. <laughs> you know, like so. I look at it and I think, you know, I need, we never had that. But the point I'm getting at is, there was a lack of humility there. So I, I felt really out of place. And I was saying to someone before, I'd get back on the tra- the train back to Bethnal Green, get the bus back to, ha- and I remember even some getting off at Leighton and walking back, had my hoodie on, my backpack, and I felt I'm home. Mm-hmm. I'm back in the hood. Your Which buttocks it, like kind of relaxed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like the, my, my my thing, my my experience at uni was like that as well. Which I, uni did you go to? I went to Westminster. Oh, the one so in uh, on Marylebone Bon Road. Marylebone Bon Road, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when I when I used to go, I didn't. I was I ch- I chose to stay at home. Mm. I was thinking, should I move out? And then when all the whole uni something was deciding, I thought, no, nah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna move out because I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't f- f- like the vibe and stuff. So they're I idiots over there, bro. Just, I just didn't mm. like the. No, no, even if I moved out to another uni, I just, I thought, you know what, I, w- I want to stay at home. Yeah. And then, um, and I'd go to uni. I remember go to lectures and stuff. And then they had a gym downstairs, mm. but it was locked. To everyone for some reason. I used to always walk downstairs, just, just to boot that door open, bro. And then go there, and I just train for hours Mashallah. by myself. <laughs> then go to another, and I was on, on my own. And that was my yeah. that was my routine. Go lecture, go downstairs to the gym, train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then got behind. The gym's always in the basement, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was in the basement. We had the same at Charing yeah. Cross. And I remember just like UK, it was no one ever used it. It was stank. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I found my home. Yeah. And I just used to train. Just train all the on time. On my own. And then and then in the night I used to teach. So I said so this is when the transition happened for me. So then I was like, oh no, wait a minute, I actually enjoy this more mm. than doing this. So but I, because I was because I was Doing it, I thought, let me finish, make sure I finish my university. Okay, like you said, uh, it doesn't matter what academy or institute you go to. When I was at my place, you know, you can actually see it look like they let the animals out. Like there was literally, they were caged up. Suddenly, th- I've never seen food fights in my life. Yeah, just kids. Food fighting with food. Yeah. I remember coming in and so arguing. sacrilege, bro. I, 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 I witnessed something absolutely grotesque, which I'm not going to say here. I've seen things that were in the can lithium. You, can you give us a hint? So, like, huh? I, as in, imagine people, like, I was hoovering. Oh, he's going. He's going to go. You, why, why, why are you hoovering, though? <laughs> why? He's always hoovering. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I kind of went, what's that smell? And I opened the hoover, and it's like excrement, vomit. Oh. So someone's hoovered up excrement, and wh- why would you hoover up excrement? Because it's it's on the floor. So someone has actually physically t- taken a dump on the floor, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is happening!" This is a medical school, bro. This is an adult. These are the gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. These the are the people percent. that are treating you. It's top five percent society. Top five percent. That's yeah? what they can say. I, can that's I take your blood? <laughs> are you the guy that? Are you the guy that did that on the floor? <laughs> you know, and and that can I say, without talking about anything more. That yeah. was the tip of the iceberg, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then and then something I saw, and I, I thought. I know you said to me, "There's a lot of sexual deviancy over there." Uh, absolutely, I will have to say profound. it. Profound. Yeah. So this profound. is the. Because the, 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 I want to. Obviously, we've got to be kind of tactful, yeah, yeah of course, and of how course. we address things. Absolutely. But let's not cover the. But let, let's let's be honest. Because I wanted to talk about this, bro. I'm, I'm just, just, just going to make myself comfortable. Spill the tea, man. Spill the Let me out. Are you going to Yeah. For this bit, I. Like, like, <laughs> I think I came into a room once and I just saw like the Royal Rumble going on. Who was hoovering? <laughs> <laughs> so the ma- but you know what? I realise no, why no, he hoovers. Honestly, no, bro. Oh, Ad, can let me help you today? That should just be a meme. If anything happens, I'm in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, was hoovering at UFC 2479. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they're having that Royal Rumble, bro. I mean, they're hoovering, bro. But I'm telling you, there was WrestleMania going on in that room. Oh, oh my. With God. at least, that I couldn't count more than maybe 20 bodies, yeah? But you had enough time to count? <laughs> no, I didn't, I'm like, <laughs> As in, <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. I went, one, two, I've already counted that guy. One of two legs. Oh, wait, that's one leg, sorry. So uh, oh, I remember, yeah. I remember going, okay, I'm going to hoover somewhere else now. What I'm saying is, that one, I, I think that was the last straw, and I was like, and I'll give you an example. Sorry, this yeah. like, no, it's um, right, don't worry about it. I, I'll give you an example, like, I'll be in my room. Imagine, by the way, um, 
think. Could we lock our doors? I can't remember if our doors could lock or not. I, I think they could lock. But anyway, somehow... Uh, be careful with this one, bro. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be very clear. No, ve- be very ambiguous, please. Ambiguous. I, will, yeah. I will be, I will Go be. On. People trying to come into your bedroom. Yeah. And you're like, um, can you leave my room? Uh, no, is that not? And then, so then what happened was, they started thinking I was obviously eccentric, off-centre. Yeah, uh, off-centre. <laughs> that's the only thing I could put it. And then I acquired this strange nickname, which I won't repeat. The yeah. Hooverer. No. <laughs> 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 I can't even Sucker. say. <laughs> no, it's only no. that I was. I was told. I was told by another person a yeah. year above me, because I was very like, "That's wrong. Don't do that. That's yeah. immoral. Don't oh, do that." Oh, right, right, right. Like a um, enforcer. Enforcer. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I, there's another word yeah. in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't say what the word is. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So then I was like, "Okay, I, said, I got that name," um, and I just, I just, you know, it was it just, just. I keep saying to mum, like, right. we said of each other, right? We we kind of born in the wrong era. Yeah, I would have been like you know in the back of a horse yeah, with so an axe and a shield. Because you know I had a, I had a conversation with uh, one of my kids the other day, yeah, and um, I would like he said something to me, yeah. I was like, bro, I felt exactly the same thing, man. When I remember when I went to college, I went to all boys school, yeah. Yeah. There's no girls, so it was that's what generally happens in all boys school. <laughs> Exactly. Well, can I can I say? So, so, so there is you give me red bull. Sorry, guys. But, but the problem with that, when there is a female teacher, yeah, yeah. she's sexualized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I had it in. This was before you. I think yeah. even before you started, I was in year. So you came when I left. Yeah. So I was year eleven, and this poor I don't know what she was thinking. And obviously, there's not excuse for it to yeah, happen. Well, be careful with this one. This four substitute lady. She came. No, it was a policeman involved. Everything yeah. came in, and obviously, this is how it used to run in our school. I was the head prefect, so oh. the teachers would call me <laughs> to deal with mad students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd come in, so somebody give us a hand, I've come in, and this woman's run out, and she's holding on to whatever's left of her clothing, and it looked like a, like, you know, a pack of animals going, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. ah, what it Yahoos. was. Yahoos. What, yeah. happened, what happened was, I think one of the Turkish boys or one of these off the boat boys, I think he, I think he slapped her somewhere, yeah. and... And then it was like a chain reaction. Oh wow! Because she didn't deal with it, they were like, "Oh, <laughs> it, basically, <laughs> the, every, all the animals came out, and they just started going for her." This is mad, bro. Can you imagine? Where, where was this? Homerton House Boys School, yeah. which is now a really good school. It was closed down, bro. So it became the academy. Yeah, the academy, bro. Wow. I, I witnessed stuff in school that was like you would never. And I remember, bro. I remember. That, so the thing is, so remember, you have to understand. There was no. So, imagine there was no social media. Yeah. There was no internet, nothing. This is just super wild, dysfunctional kids put together. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Like th- then there was Clapton Girls down the road. Yeah. And I remember a bunch of these girls, or at least 20 of them, came down to the school to beat up one guy who was, I think, dating all of them. I don't know, don't ask how it was happening. And they was, imagine these girls were blocking the police cars. Wow. Said, what are you going to do? Come out then. And I was like, and I remember looking thinking, wow, there's some maniacs in this place. <laughs> But the reason why I mention this is because, like, obviously, like, I, from our upbringing, we kept ourselves to us, you yeah, know, absolutely. especially with the opposite sex, bro. You, you keep yourself to the best you can. So you, you kind of think about you, you're, you're, you're hit puberty, you've got this stallion inside you, bro, this wild horse that you're trying to tame. And you have no idea how you're trying to, but you're, you're tame, you know, you listen, your dad, you know, is telling you, you know, I just used to hoover. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> And bake cakes. And bake cakes, bro. Bake cakes. (laughs) But then then you hit college, bro. Then you hit college and that, you know, that valve is taken off. But do you see, remember, do you see what you're saying? This is exactly what Kay was saying. He says something really spot on. And this is why we have to protect the club and what we do at the clubs. Yeah. We use sports. Yeah. To level out your hormones, bro. Mama, do you know, yeah, once 100%. you've had a mad session, a grappling se- you know, you get home, you're just like, oh, yeah. God, I'm smashed, I need to go to sleep. Now, imagine you didn't use that wild, f- I- that mad potential energy, it's going to hold you to ransom. Yeah. But, also, but also, it can either just, it will rot as mm. well inside you. But mm. o- yeah. also having right people around you. So. It's, I, I, think that, I think that's, that's yeah. the most yeah. important. Because then you have, like I said to Amir, mashallah, oh like, but I mean, uh, I'm back. On, on, like, when I said to you, Wednesdays when I come to when I come to teach allegiance and stuff, okay. I said I have raha. Yeah. Like I'm even sure. e- e- the, the 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 environment I'm about that we've created, and you guys have created mashallah. Is 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 something that is you wanna you wanna be around. 
So that for me is that that's a good environment for young kids yeah. to be in. And it's like because when you when you're at college, you're a little the, the reins are released a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. happens. Yeah. It's like okay, no more uniform. Yeah. Unless then you go to certain colleges. Yeah, it, I mean, but it just is that even if they when they when it's like oh I'm a little bit of an adult. Yeah, that's it. Mm. They start yeah. getting there. You know what you said. The stallion starts coming yeah, up, yeah. Mm. and mm. if they're not grounded in who they are mm. and what they stand for and stuff, that's where you just go. Mm. Yeah, mm, 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 mm. and that's the thing. I think for, well, the conversation I had was um, he, he said to me that he felt alien. Mm. Do you understand? Like Which is a good thing. Everyone's there well, on their phone. He said to me, everyone's there on their bad. phone. It's good and bad, but it's, yeah. it's technically... But I'm saying, thing, yeah. everyone's there on their phone. They were like, all this stuff. And he, he doesn't he doesn't have a phone. Yeah. By choice. Not because we can't afford it. Yeah. yeah. It's good by choice, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. And I was like, bro, I felt exactly the same thing. I felt exactly... When I, when I went into college, the first day, I see all these girls... By, by the way, they come to school, like they're going... It's, it's, it's London Fashion Week, bro. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, so everyone's dressed to the nines. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you can't keep up. Like your, our parents were on low income, bro. Yeah. But it's not that matter. And we, and wh- why do we have to fit in? We don't. We don't. We don't. That's something. But the thing is, there's still like whether you like it or not, there's that invisible pressure but, in but it. As, if you don't have a, a strong personality, bro, yeah. and you don't have a strong foundation. But K said it. K said it. He goes, yeah. you put them in an environment yeah. where that's what I'm saying. I'd come back from med school and I'd be like, I'm home. Yeah. I'm this gonna is go training. Can I ask something? So 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 happy day. Um, but I, uh, like you know this depression that people are suffering now and everything, and people not knowing who they are, and it's like you want to hold them and say some. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. If you don't fit in with the wrestlers, yeah. and you don't fit in with the jujitsu guys, and you don't fit in with these people, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. You like doing drawing, cool. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with you. But that's that's what I'm saying. So like now with our kids, yeah. if they go to school and then it's not because the main thing is what I did mm-hmm. with all all the kids I do at the club as well is I make them write their core values down. I said to them, write down your core values. What what do you stand for? Like what, 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 even for us as adults, we should write this down. Sorry. What is your affirmation to yourself? Like, what do you like, who, who do you like to, who would you choose as your friends? What yeah. do you stand for? And if anyone doesn't fall in line with those principles, goodbye. And I wouldn't care, bruv. Because yeah. I said, I go, do, do you like people who lie? No, I don't like people who lie. So why are you going to sit with the liars? Yeah. So if you have, if you have those core yeah. fundamentals, but I think you you. Yeah. This is what I lost. What I didn't have in school, because when we were growing up, we didn't have um, really mentorship, isn't it? A and we didn't have an Islamic our, our, yeah. our, not Islam role, but we didn't even know our identity, yeah. bro. We were so. Yeah. Like, I remember. The, I remember watching this thing. In school, his name is Bob, or in school they call him Bob or whatever. And at home, he's Nabil. Yeah. And he and when he goes here, he's something else. And it's like you, bruv, you're like your yeah. you got split personality. Yeah, yeah, so one yeah. one type of people you talk constantly different. changing masks. Aren't and you? Yeah. yeah, and then it's like imagine he could be Nebul all the time. All the time so. so he goes to school. I'm Nebul. Cool. This is what I stand for. And it's cool. Then you'll have those type of friends. And I think this is this is where when and we it's young, okay not to be. It's cool, like, bruv. But, but, but and that I that think when we was younger, f- when we was younger, yeah. when I was younger personally uh, myself, yeah. is I found that a lot. That's why I think I was lost a little bit, where but, I was like. But, but I think here, I think sometimes you yeah. have to look at the individual. So I look at some of the kids that I've got. So, um, so I look at. So he's very much, he's a lone wolf. Maybe too much of a lone wolf. And then I look at like, he's he's a really sweet kid, and but he he's a little bit of a follower. And I can see in Harun, you know, he he just wants to smash everything. And so I just look and I think you can see personalities and who you have to kind of manage mm. there's certain characters you think i need to kind of protect them a bit more because if i leave them they will go off yeah. so telling me something, he goes he had a friend at school he said i n- never believe it dad um i think it was a stabbing or a murder that happened and he was involved because with this kid was like such a good kid but you can see maybe he's a follower so he actually got involved, maybe got groomed. God knows, Allah Alam what happened. But then he ended up in this situation when a stronger soul would have said, no, I'm not getting involved in that. And I think that that's where you kind of pick up. We see at the club, we can see who's going to be a leader and who's going to be a follower. But I mean, I think, I think we're missing this one key element here, bro. And I think, I know we have some viewers who are not Muslim, which is fine as well, but just in education. 
is our core values are halal and haram, bro. That's why if you if you if you build that strong uh, sense of halal and haram in your kids from young, yeah, and uh, the backbone of your tarbiyah, your upbringing is Islamic values, bro. Yeah, very like my dad used to say to me, you're gonna. Everyone gets tested and they and they veer off, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. but again, you're not going to veer off too far. You'll, you'll come back. It's 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 like this. You get ups mm. and downs, and I feel like I think to to go to go kind of a little bit into the kind of um, mm. the masculine side of things for young young men, mm. bro. Stay away from women, bro. Yeah, bro. Real talk, yeah. Mm. You're yeah. in college, you're, bro. If you're not married, stay away from women, man. Yeah, true. you've got no business having female friends. Do you know like can, I, can I tell you, just touching so the point, on. right? So when I was teaching two middle students, they're probably like, probably registrars, they're probably quite senior now. And it's really two, really not, one girl, one boy, really good at that, English girl, English boy. And I got very close to them. All my students, I feel like nearly like I've got a, a familiar relationship with them, like like nearly paternal, kind of that. That's my teaching manner is like that anyway. Yeah. And I said, I asked a question. I said to this guy, my name was Emily or Amy. I can't remember. We don't need to make, give names. Yeah, sure, sure. And but very, you know, the, when they they spoke and formed the elocution, you know, you can see they had really good upbringing. And I said, um, can I ask you guys a question? I said, f- firstly, I always talk about uh, we're all related. I always bring that into the conversation. And they're like, really? I said, yeah. Do you understand if you have the if you're from a uh, if you, if you're from the people of the book, meaning uh, you know. Abraham faiths of Islam, Christianity, yeah. Abrahamic faiths, and then th- anyway, then the conversation got to. I asked the boy first. Said, uh, "Can a boy be a girl's friend?" He goes, "Of course they can." And I said to the girl, "Can a girl be a boy's friend?" And she went, "No, they can't." I was like, "Okay, why is that?" She goes, "Because they'll catch feelings." And then I started talking about <laughs> the dynamics. Listen to this here: the dynamics that what can happen that when the hearts get broken. And I started talking and talking, and then she was looking at me, and just tears coming out of her eyes, and she was trying to put her head down. I was like, ah, someone broke your heart, isn't it? Like, you got involved because you thought it was a friendship, you gave a little bit too much away, and now something that was very prized to you, you can't get it back now. And I think this is the issue, right, that you're talking about, just just stay away from it. I think your essence as a man, yeah, that... You 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 just if if you if you live by a, a certain ideals yeah, you can't be friends with with females, bro. You just can't, bro. As a man, bro, you can't do it, bro. Because like, even even like you said, it's it's gonna happen where I think your character starts to break down, bro, because you're compromising. Does that make sense? You have a re- a relationship, and I I mean just a platonic one, bro. Yeah, like what's the benefit of that relationship, bro? Like mm. I, when I when I say friends, yeah, I mean like you know how m- uh, we go out for e and you, you, we we follow each other. Up. So so so, so, so for example, you might work with women, yeah. That's a professional relationship. That's yeah? different. That's that makes different. sense. That's, That's a completely different. different thing. I'm not saying you don't speak to women. You can't. But we live in a society where yeah. the, 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 the uh, how do you say it? communication greases th- the wheels th- of, th- of, th- of of these. I things. think the the look the point we're getting at is you have to have humility. Yeah. And so when you're speaking and you're having that dialogue, the f- what, I f- what I get really, it gets, it's difficult because you're working in the medicine departments and stuff. You, I'm talking about from a, from a young person. No, but I'm, as I'm, an I'm, adult. I'm, but, but you've got to be careful because even as an adult. You, but you, even as an adult, yeah, bro. As a, I'm saying like, so you're, look, we live our, our feelings in our sleeves. We're not kind of like, alhamdulillah, we're not this kind of like too deep down, I've got this. Uh, they see us coming and they know what it's about. And the problem is sometimes when you're being very jovial, they actually think... They misrepresent yeah, the signals. Yeah, they're misunderstanding the signals. You're like, actually, no, that's just my character. I'm like that. I'm like, oh, crumbs, I think. And that's the danger, right? And I think at college, it's even worse. Because everything's dialed to 100, bro. But mm. also... What... I think what what the kids need to understand, or what you should be doing, is focusing on yourself. Yeah, that's and your the, studies, bro. That's, that's the most important bit. So from si- sixteen to twenty one, or whatever it is, yeah, 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 that's that time that you need to be finding out who you are as a person, yeah. learning learning your skill, your trade, yeah. or whatever. Um, 
Okay, I, I, I you ain't I, got time for that. You, you, no, you but ain't got time I, I really for think, that. And I, I think yeah. as soon as you do that, bro, it's like, yeah. yeah but honestly, I, re- I really think young men, hundred percent, have to be involved in some physical activities. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like I'm talking every day, yeah. clockwork. Yeah, uh, because what will happen is, especially with these bloody devices and all this trash that you've got around us. You will just go home, simply sit there, and then you'll go into what do we call it? The abyss. Yeah. Just also, deeper spiritually deeper. as well, I mean, bro. No, no, remember. Because I, physically. I, no, yeah. I, I, I look, yeah. I, I see why, yeah? Um, definitely spiritually, yes? But this one I wanted to talk to you about, and Kay, maybe afterwards, about having some kind of program where we can work with the youth, and we we're going to do it anyway, go away, you know, do a wrestling w- a couple of days away, but look at instilling goodness and relating goodness. So I'm thinking we've lost a lot of kids along the way and we've allowed them to veer off, but they're still in our club and we're very close to them. And I think that that's important. So spiritually, you're right, instilling it. But I'm saying in the practical now, if they're not involved in some kind of, I believe more so combative sports, where you lose your personal space on a regular basis, grappling is probably the one that does it for me. And I, I, I like it got to the point where it became ad- addictive to me. And it kept me so g- grounded, like running, swimming, wrestling, training, competing. And I couldn't do anything else like, apart from studying. And I love studying. And it was just like, and I look back and I think, SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept me like this because 100%, if I got involved with someone, unfortunately, not being North African and being very Persian, I probably would have ended pouring my soul into that person. <laughs> And then being destroyed at the end of it. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? But also, you compromise your spiritual element. Of course, you does, co- Compromise your deen, bro. And does. that's the thing. It's like the reason why I say stay away from women, not because I'm saying they're evil, bro. Like I would say the same to women. Stay away from men, bro. If if you're not married, I stay away from women as well. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but you, just I'm saying to you, bro. Like because I feel like there's a reason that like. Look, when there, you're there, trying to achieve, like, f- bro, like, remember, we've got there, such there, a small. Remember, there, there, there's that um, African Caribbean, uh, the black um, presenter who does the thingy show. You know, he has two teams talking. What's his name? He's got a bald head. He's a really funny guy. Little moustache. Mr. Motorville. No man. Chris Akabusi. Bobo is an American actor. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> they asked him a question. Chris Akabusi. <laughs> they asked him a question. They said, can a guy, a guy, a girl be a friend of a guy? And he goes, oh, um, he goes, what's his name? Steve Harvey. Yeah, he yeah, goes, Steve let Harvey. me tell you, the minute oh, he yeah, gets Steve a chance Harvey. to slip in, he will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Harvey, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But like, well, like that that ninety five year old advice, the guy. Was <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! You know, well, fact, yeah. we're, we're let's not, said, let's but not repeat. Not, but it, it's an element of truth. Yes. Of what he's saying. Yeah. But the thing, chasing is, women but, and having it's it's gonna it's gonna disrupt. Because you. I remember, I remember there was when I was in college, there was a group of people, yeah, that literally that was their goal to get the girls. Just chasing women. It yeah. was almost like, n- and and part of me was like intrigued by it. But part of me was like, Bob, this is, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I get, because I, I like giving up your essence like that, bro. Every, do you see what I'm saying? I, I, I felt like it was like pulling your power away, bro. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Being able to say, you know what? I can, but I'm not going to do it. But it's not that though. It, it's, not that's not that, but it's, it's, yeah. what I mean, what, what, what I was thinking is that if you have, if you can get a hold of these kids and, See the problem is as parents, I think what you do, you start letting not letting the reins go at that time. Where I yeah. think that's the time. That's the time. Yes. That's the time mm. They need the most guidance, mm. and it's like that point you need to start saying to them, "Look, this is the." It's like you know, imagine a young fighter who's just coming to money. Yeah, and he's like, like look at Mike Tyson, bro. Mike Tyson. So yeah. imagine he and he lost all his guidance, kind of thing. So imagine you had someone who just coming to money, young fighter, king, king of the world, champion, all this stuff. He wants to go buy cars. Yeah. But if you've got someone around him saying, you know what, let's invest this. Let's yeah. put it here. Let's do this for for later on. Yeah. He he won't understand mm. at that point, yeah. but you're doing that for his future. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, mm-hmm. always at that point, 16 to 21, parents need to be involved with their kids. Especially for men, because we're talking specifically about yeah, men, 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 about the men. dad, bro. Yeah, the dad, the dad needs to be involved. You can't, you can't so be that guy important. who goes to work, comes home, don't give... 
uh, where he is. Yeah. You, or, or just yeah. you're hoovering every day. We <laughs> 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 did. I'm just hoovering. Bro. Enough, brother. Someone took a on the, toilet, on the floor again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like definitely. But I think the father, bro. Uh, you need to step up uh, uh, at 16. Don't take your foot off the rate. This is when you need but, to be on them. Muhammad, even yeah. if, but even with even if you got girls, yeah, even definitely 100. Or, or, yeah, or it, it's both so. because why you're there, you're you're there, you're their superstar, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're above no one's gonna love them like how you yeah, love them, so. you're always gonna care for them like how you're gonna care and for to them. Be honest, okay, they're, they're gonna they're going to model their relationship potential yeah. husbands or partners in life, inshallah, yeah, after inshallah. the father, yeah, say, of course. Well, my, and, and, and get, what, what was a good example of that? It's really interesting, this panel this came up when uh, uh, Ali and the, 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 yeah. so, so the, the scholars have spoke about the dynamics between Ali and Fatima Radian, and also Fatima Radian, who's her father, the right? Yeah. Someone as am, amazing as that, you know, so an example would be like the Rasulullah sitting down and, and with the Sahaba. And they're having, a, he's like the best of mankind, and they're a guaranteed Jannah. Having a discussion about something quite important, Fatima comes in, and the Rasul sits up, goes away, says, Come take my seat. She sits down, and, and the Sahaba are looking at her like this. She's a young girl, right? Yeah. A young girl, seven, eight years old, whatever it is, yeah. And imagine the, the feeling, yeah. the, inte- the feeling she has. These are the lions, subhanAllah, yeah. and the Rasul is the best of them, and, and he's my dad, and. Yeah, Ali Radian, what is he gonna have to do now, right? Mm. Whereas now you look at, for example, and I know this, I only know this through social media and anecdotal thing, yeah. But daughters sometimes, like for example, it's wild to me that your daughter's having a boyfriend at 13, 14 years old, bro, and he's coming to your house knocking at the door. So what would we call bro, that? No, but what is that word we use? Da youth. Yeah, bro. That's where you're bad da-youth. boys comes in, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, you're da youth. How can you let someone? Firstly, that's mad to firstly, me, bro. That that that's that. I don't know how that works. Secondly, you're smiling at the guy in your house. Thirdly, yeah. he's doing whatever he's doing in the bedroom. Yeah, they're up in the room or doing wow. whatever. That's nuts to me, bro. And on top of that, on top of that, wow. forget that. Like. You look at... See how Kay's been really quiet right now. <laughs> he, he okay, have you seen that? <laughs> Dead of Thieves. Dead of Thieves. Have you seen that? I'm looking at Zach. Like, don't put me on camera, bro. Don't put your button for you. Kay, it's just my button. I wish I had a button. I wish I had a button, bro. If you know what your time would be. But yeah, it's like... And the thing is, I think, when you look at uh, men as protectors of their daughters, yeah, and their women folk, that creates a barrier... Why do women see it? Because I see it a lot. Why do women see it as a negative thing? Mm. Like, I don't need a man to rob. It's not about that. It's about well, having wait, layers I, of protection, I, no, bro. Wait, wait. Can I just... Okay, okay. Let's look at it. Okay, fine. Why do I need men? Let's look what happened in Hurricane Katrina. Mm. Now, I was listening to a report on BBC. I think it was um, one of these radio channels. And it was so interesting. A woman called in. So they did. They put all of the... Uh, survivors and people because the hurricane smashed everything yeah, yeah, yeah. they put them in the Super Bowl because yeah. you know the walls are quite you know so it was, it, was, it was probably the safest like a bunker right she goes it's an English woman she's calling in saying I, my, I think she had her husband her sons and other men folk around her had to build a wall around her when she was walking around and she, they said why she said because women were being ripped and ripped then and there mm. were being in the Super Bowl so unless you had a wall of men around you men okay a wall of women a wall of men you was going to be attacked when I done refugee work I couldn't understand what they were th- this thing that they told me they said oh we're handing out and I went why? because we will tell the women subhanAllah we'll tell the women if you're getting at least give the no I don't think you're even allowed to say bro. sorry Zach, you're going to have to bleep, bleep, that bleep, bleep that out. Well, if he said grape. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to so bleep that out because we're going to get demonetized, bro. I'll, I'll rephrase it. So when they were going to be abused, uh, uh, can't you say that? Just say abused. Okay, so anyway, they were told to hand this across. Yeah. 
so it would stop them falling pregnant or <laughs> sorry <laughs> see now you're going to have to cut this whole bit you out just censored the whole thing bro <laughs> yeah because bro you get demonetised bro I know bro it's, 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 it's going to be like when they go beep <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you're gonna have to cut the whole thing up. You're gonna yeah. have to cut the whole thing up. Yeah. But okay, let's let's. Uh, let's up to the bit talking about. What, what um, we're talking about? Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Okay, Super yeah, Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, so yeah. Obviously, so obviously they'll be they'll, they'll, they'll be assaulted. Being, they're being assaulted. Yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Can you start from Super Bowl? Yeah. Okay. So with Hurricane Tr- Katrina, they had everyone put into Super Bowl because at that particular time, that was probably the safest place to be. Yeah. And she said we had to build a, a wall of men around us when we was going anywhere, going to the toilet, going away, because we were being assaulted by other men. Yeah. And the same thing in refugee camps, we were having the same situation where women are being assaulted and we're told to take certain precautions because that assault can lead to pregnancy, obviously, or lead to acquiring sexual infections. Yeah. And I was like, this is madness. So when people say to me, oh, well, you know, I don't need men, but do you see at that principal time, suddenly you need that protection? But you know what they would say to you? And, and, and also... You know what they say to you, bro? Can I just... A quick thing. You know what they say to you? They say to you, who's doing that? Who's assaulting? It's men. Okay. But my... The, 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 the thing is... But you know, men assault men. Men assault men more than they assault women, by the way. But but but, but, but you see what I'm saying? But I'm like... But that's a, 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 what's it, a circular yeah, argument, bro. Circular. But there's going to be scumbags, bro. We know yeah. that. Yeah. We know there's predators. We know yeah. what they do. Uh, look, look at the predator uh, uh, that we saw. That There was that dialogue about the the, pedophilia. Yes. And he, and he was saying... I look out for certain things, and if I see these things, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't progress. One of them, what a father who looks like he can not fight. No, he is a strong, is a, a strong, a, a strong male role, male role yeah. model. Because then I'm like, this guy's going to put up some pressure. If he's not there, that child is going to be frail, more vulnerable, and yeah. more vulnerable. And as a consequence, I can actually become, a, you know, I, I can, ta- I can acquire him for whatever, yeah. you know, madness, Disgusting. whatever yeah. behavior. But I was, but just one extra point about. Um, the process is going back to Islamic principles. Why did we change our whole of our coaching program? Why did we take children on before they were seven? What did Ali Radhan teach us? He said, for seven years, play with them. For seven years, teach them. For seven years, be their friend. I mean, subhanAllah, look at the wisdom. Yeah. F- we actually said it. 14, 15, it's over, man. You mm. can. You just have to befriend them and guide them and, and kind of speak to them and have dialogue with them. I think I heard Jordan Peterson say something about after five days old, a baby's already starting to get programmed, bro. Something like that, bro. Or a month old or whatever it is. And and that's the thing. You look at, for example, some babies, bro. Like, I know, my, like, uh, they, bu- they, they actually develop bad habits, bro. Like, not sleep, like, wanting to be comforted too much or, like, uh, not sleeping on time. Well, or then certain nations have certain ways of managing children. Like, the Americanese will hang the kid in the cradle in the tree. So learn to stop crying. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah, everyone has the different ways. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, uh, w- 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 what that, is all trying? That, all like that, it was that antidotal story about um, how the, sam- the j- ninjas throw the kid in the water, and if it swims, it's going to be, it'll be a great worry. If it drowns, it's too bad. Oh wow! Like, wow yeah, def- definitely don't take that I advice. No, bro. Please don't do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, t- t- so so look, which leads us beautifully on to kind of wrap this up because we've got about 15 minutes left. Yeah, um, which is. A roadmap, yeah? So, like, there's no point kind of talking about problems without actually offering some solutions, isn't it? And there are many solutions out there, but obviously we are fathers, we, we're coaches and stuff like that, and you guys coach, and obviously you've got children. And like you said, like, seven, seven to 14, I think that age definitely is about mm-hmm. learning, you know? And which I think a lot of parents... You know, and by the way, learning is passive, yeah? They pick up everything that you do non verbally. Yeah, yeah, not just talking, not but just, yeah. They, they see your actions and they say, yeah. wait a minute. And they'll make them say, but daddy, you done that. Like, yeah. Do that. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, same. So I think that 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 bit of that 7 to 14. Daddy, you had your shirt off and you was doing that. <laughs> 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 trying to be like you, daddy. <laughs> and that's true, but I see my five year old, bruv. Like, he, he, he literally goes, Can you cut my hair off? I'm like, Bruv, you've got hair. I don't have it. He goes, I want to be like you. <laughs> Yo, bro, like, there's time for that, bruv. Who wants to be bold? Bro? Exactly, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I want your hair, he's man. He's lying, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but um, I think that that is well documented. It's, it's kind of natural, isn't it, to kind of teach a child. Yeah. I think when it hits 14, 15, 16, 15, that's the age where I think parents start to kind of panic a little bit. I bro. think, you know, um, what I'm because I, mean, I know I did, bro. But I think what Amy just said, you know, that's the time to be their friend, yes, and you're, you're there, you're like, like a guide, yeah, and don't take your foot off the gas. It's not like, like, oh, they know what they're doing now. Mm -hmm. but for, when you're not 14, bro. Nothing. nothing bro. Even, even all up to 20, bro. You don't yeah, know nothing. 100%. You know, bro, I remember myself at 2020. 20, you think you know. Yeah. You don't know nothing. And it's like uh, what Amir just said there, mashallah, that that time period, I think as a parent, you need to be more involved. Mm -hmm. So then you become their friend. But how? So, be, in, bro, to be honest, it's like now. Say your child likes wrestling, for example. Your child likes You don't like wrestling. Go wrestling. Yeah. Go just just be in the present and watch. Be in his presence, or, uh, or if your daughter wrestles or whatever it is, yeah. just be in their presence and go participate. Go and watch them. Go and have your. Uh, but my my parents never watched a fight. Do you get? It? Yeah. It's very very hard. It was very hard. I used to sneak out the house to go and fight and stuff. Oh, yeah. So it was like it was very, like it felt like it was wrong what I was doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was I keep thinking. I wonder how it would have been if. If uh, uh -huh. you had support, uh -huh. like someone pushing you, go on, yeah. do more. Like my granddad, uh -huh. Allah, my grand, uh, he was to do Mabza, like you do wrestling. I said, yeah. He goes, how much can you lift? I said, no. He goes, we used to lift 100 kilos on this. I think he was gassing, but But you get it. No, he, but being he, present is important. He bro. encouraged it. Yeah, so so I, I think as a, par as a parent, we need to be involved. Yeah. Always be present. Um, you know, when I used to compete, you know, in the wrestling tournament, someone in the corner just fan. I'd come out of the round, I'd be like, no one's in my corner. Let me just fan myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's out of the towel. Okay, I'd go. It's fine. I was speaking to Gabriel, but his brother Gabriel Money, yeah. And um, like, I, I didn't really finish my thought, yeah, because uh, we got carried away or something else. But I feel like we, we chase, especially as dads, yeah. We kind of chase the material, yeah. Like I want my kids to have the best things. I want my kids to to have this, and and that requires you to put the working outside and all that stuff. But I think I think something that my dad did, like that, I, you know, I always respect. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that yeah we didn't go on holiday. We never went on holiday. Like I'm I'm never. I think the first time I went on ho holiday to Algeria was when I was 18 years old. Yeah, but. My dad was always around, bro. It's not that he didn't work. He worked, bro. But he always found jobs where he was able to take us to school. And he planned his his work, work around, around us, yeah. in it. And I'm, I'm, I know it's not practical for everyone, yeah? Mm -hmm. But maybe reduce the amount of physical things and, and, and material things that you give your kids. But give them your time more. I think they, they will remember that more than the PlayStation you bought them, bro. Like, Do you see what I'm saying? Like, life is about experiences. 100%, bro. That's all life is about. So like, I, uh, um, this moment, you had fun. You're going to remember this. Like, you don't, you know, we never bought nothing. Yeah. Never sold anything. Never ha had to go to some expensive place. But you remember the time that you sat with your brothers. I remember we should catch yeah. a joke about Amir yeah. hoovering everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you ain't going to let this go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but again, every time I go to Hoover. You like the Henry brother who bought the shark. He's never hoovered at the gym, by the way. I know, bro. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> Recently, when's the last time you picked up the Hoover, bro? <laughs> about, about 10 years ago. You're exactly, tired, bro. Can I say, before that, I was hoovering him up all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. The statute of limitations are over, though, bro. He still, still, Oh, in 2009, 2010, bro. Yeah, sorry, go. You were yeah, saying so it was me, bro, who just went off time. Yeah, go, go. No, I'm just saying, uh, life's about experiences, oh, no. and I think um, with your kids, try to create as much experience as you can. Look, I haven't been away for the last two, three years um, because of cor coronavirus and stuff, and um, just other things. And, and and at the moment, I'm not in a situation where I can travel. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? I'm just up to central, run out some bikes. Go cycling, and we just. And it was first, I need to see you on a bike, bro. Bruv, all you need to do you is make watch. fun of me. Yeah, <laughs> but, and bring up that bear on the bicycle from Fig. Uh, uh, Madagascar. Just bring up two of them. That's me. And <laughs> <laughs> so what? Oh yeah, god, yeah. And I was just trying to make. I remember you told me to like that's I something. Said to you, yeah, just, yeah. just make, bruv. Take, go out to the park. Go just, and it's like go out to the park and make sandwiches. I don't know, yeah. bruv. Just, 
and then let, and something will happen. Yeah. Like something usually happens. Create memories, yeah. Create memories, man. And that's and that's what you want to do with your you kids. Don't put like that mad pressure on yourself to kind of uh Yeah, like <laughs> That's Khalid and his kids in the park, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that bear's too happy, though. That's the <laughs> yeah, it's too happy, bro. Um, but yeah, like, um, you know, I, I remember it's this constant pressure from, you know, especially now the young, the 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 the, the, the new generation who, who are on social media, bro. Like, I go on my WhatsApp station sometimes. Yeah, uh, this guy's having a barbecue. This guy's getting on the plane. This guy's, this guy's going to the toilet. This guy's going to the toilet, bro. <laughs> just flushed it. This guy's had a steak. This guy, do you see what I'm saying, bro? This guy, this, this, it's, I mean, if if I was that type of person, it would make me feel a certain way about myself and think, all right, was the last time I went so, to so, a so, restaurant so, with so, my so family? So, so, so the danger of that is just talking yeah. about um, mental mind maps and frameworks. People actually commit suicide over losing likes on Facebook. Yeah, it's a big it's thing about. Can you imagine that? Yeah, people are not on Facebook anymore. But guys, I know that. Those it was two thousand and nine. Yeah, definitely. Right? <laughs> but I think to say like, can you imagine yeah, yeah, people yeah. actually because of a a dislike or a like a, a, a function of one button. Yeah, someone's gonna or like a it. comment or like. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's it's crazy, bro. Like I even get rinsed on. Last time, some guy rinsed me on YouTube. He said that, too I, loud. that I'm too loud and I'm annoying. You know what? Do you know what I know what you were going to say. I just thought it. <laughs> I thought what you were going to say. I yeah. know. You know what I've said there. Yeah, I've, I've said it already to him. Already. And yeah. say it to my face, blood. <laughs> say it to my face. Just shout in the mic, bro. Yeah, yeah. Say it to my face. Warriors. Yeah. I don't mind, but, but you can have an opinion, yeah? This is the thing. Something, you can have an opinion about me. Well, I don't, I don't care, bro. But like, you could say that to me, but you'd say it in a different way, right? Yeah. You could say exactly what you said in a comment. But in a different way. But I think in comments, but I don't care, bro. But even in comments, you can't. There's no tone. There's no tone. Yeah. yeah if you were saying it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But he he goes. What did he say, bro? Loud AF. Yeah. 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 My, my, bro. Oh. But do you know I'm Algerian? Yeah. <laughs> we only got one volume, bro. Turn it right. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> yeah, and and I've got a high protein diet, bro. You're probably vegetarian, my guy, bro. <laughs> He's a diet man. And also turn down the volume, innit, bro? <laughs> Oppress me. Oppress me. But anyway, I, I just, but like, like I said, people can have their opinions about you and it's fine. And a, a lot of times, because. But I remember the problem yeah, is the opinion. The reason to go back to. Yeah, yeah. You usually get absorbed by the opinions yeah. because, again, going. You already back got to, insecurities, yeah, isn't it? So why has that happened? Because you haven't given that person the stability to believe mm. that they actually don't need all these things around them. And it, that happens from a young age. The core values again. It, got, yeah. it, go, it goes back. You know, you know it's, and, and we're always searching for who we are, yeah? yeah. I think that's the journey of. What, and, and I think, and if you can, and as Muslims, you're told, and you kind of understand who you are from young, yeah. and, and if and we we need to educate the kids. Okay, look, this is who you are. This is what you stand for and stuff, and they, and then and then from there, help them and guide them in their life. Like I said to you, I I always find kids go a little bit wayward, 40, 14 onwards. 16, you st even like training, you start seeing 16 they years old, drop they start dropping anymore. off. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, start yeah. dropping off. And it's not nothing to do with studying or anything. It's to do with, oh, I can go out. I've got yeah. more freedom. Let me go cinema. Let me go here mm. now. I'm going here now. Da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden- what happens, Kay? When they get into a fight, they come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They get beaten up, they come back. But unfortunately, Sheikh, like, you know what it is? It's like, rather than get to that stage, mm. it's like, it's like what Mohammed saying, is there anything that we can do early? And I, I think my, my advice would be just like try to, try, try, no, even pull the reins in in the sense of like, just be with them, be, with them. Yeah. Be, be, be present, be present with your kids. And, and as parents, yeah, like don't leave it. But you, I, I'll give an example. You can tell your kids off. Yeah. You can just tell man, yeah. like they come home. But sometimes you, if you're self-absorbed, yeah, you might not realise you ain't spoken to your kid properly for three, four days, bro. Mm. And mm. that's when you're supposed to... Be present. Yeah, bro. That's, that's when be they present. need you, bro. You need and not present. take no for an answer. Sit down and say, what's going on, man? What's yeah. like, this is not like you, man. So I think I think having... having and in them, sometimes they fanta uh, fantasticate. If that's it. that's not, I know that's not a word. Like, they, they blow... I've got dyslexia. <laughs> fantasticate. I just made up a word, bro. I actually did that, I actually did that on Thursday. <laughs> is it? I said, uh, gooder. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you became German. It is good, yeah. Good. No, yeah. Good. Uh, was like, but was it you that said this to me, bro? Like, but like when who said it? To, uh, it was um, Bishop. What did he say? He talked about you know anxiety, yeah, mm. or 
Because a lot of these kids are they're anxious, isn't it? Because as a kid, you remember, yeah, you're always anticipating the future. Because mm. you're young, everyone's going, bro, if you don't do this, you're going to go. So the anxiety, he goes, anxiety just blows everything out of proportion. It's always more than what you what it actually is. So remember the but saying. But that's a learned trait as well, though. What's that? That anxiety, what I mean, shows. Yeah, 100%. Because it's passive. So now yeah. someone in, in, in the family. Yeah, yeah 100%. But the society, bro. But, no, no, but again, you know, like I said to you, from we were saying 17 to 14, you're like mm. playing. And then all of a sudden, this you yeah, get a tarsh, tarsh, you get one tarsha, yeah. and it's like yeah. GCSEs. Oh my god, I got stuck. my life's gonna change. Yeah. That, and that's what I said. I go for me, it was like boom, like a big massive change mm. from fourteen to seven, to fourteen to sixteen. Oh my god, I got to study, and I, I didn't understand the, yeah. the, the. It ran away with you, bro. I didn't yeah. understand what was going on. So do you see that there's this book called Outliers? Have you read it? Yes, yes, yes. It's a brilliant book about how wh why do certain people do certain things and why do certain people not do certain things. And what they found was certain kids were raised, not with core values, but raised with, you can do it, you will do it, you can do this, we can, be hopeful, yes, can. And the other kids who were actually always struggling were told, be careful, mm. don't, yeah. don't, don't jump from there, mm. you know, the police will arrest you. Mm. I have it when parents come in, oh, you've been naughty, but going to inject you. I was like, don't tell him that. He's mm. going to associate doctors with murderers. <laughs> <laughs> like my sisters bloody uh, scare their kids with me, bro. If you don't do this, Uncle Muhammad is going to come. I'm like, bro, why are you scaring him with me for, bro? What did I do? Because you have that bald head. <laughs> <laughs> you look like bald. Oh, before I mem r remind me. Okay, remind me. Uh, just, just remind me, please, before we end, yeah? I need to do something. Okay. I'll just carry on. Are you going to buy off, bro? No, no one, no one, no one. Right. No one. So, I have to so rectify so something. So the point I'm getting at is that the, these behavioral patterns, they picked up early. So I think, Yanni, if you look at, again, look at the... Uh, our role model, Dr. Sam, right? So, so how, how, how he reared people around him, there was always this feeling of, you can do it, we can do it. Like, even when they were it's making... Optimistic. Optimism, right? So, the optimism was what? It wasn't just it wasn't just foolhardy. Yeah. It was it was led, obviously, inspired, it was inspired, but when they were digging the trenches, right? And this was the time without the lowest, right? They're going to get attacked. They had, and they asked Salman Farsi, how do you deal with it in Persia? And he said, look, we make these trenches. So, you're basically, trenches mean you're, you're basically on your guard. You're on the ropes, you're getting hit, Yeah. And as he's digging it, he's saying, I can see the bangles of Kisra. You know, we are going to take over Persia, take over Rome. And they listen to him. He's as Siddiq, he's the truthful one. He's not, this, is, this is all inspired. So he's giving them hope. Yeah. He's giving that feeling that we can. You know, like, that, that, that is something we've lost, right? And I think, I, I'll give you a good example, yeah? So in my third year of med school, so I, I tell you, just I have to say this, but it's really important. My mom's my number one inspiration, alhamdulillah. Allah 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 she's a Allah superhero. Allah mom, Allah I love you, superwoman. Allah Allah Allah. So she, she um, was a single parent raising us, took care of us. And I came home because that evening, I was, but in med school, they were ridiculously stupid, making you do stuff they wouldn't do, make you do today. And I think I was taking blood from a patient who had had some kind of problem, immunodeficiency, probably borderline AIDS. AIDS, yeah. I can't I can't recall what it was, but it was something that basically can be it can be past blood borne. So as I've taken the blood out, it's and the needles hit me. And obviously you've got to now inform the consultant. You're a med student, right? They've got to get consent That's from the patient. Mad, bro. And we're talking about nineteen ninety nine, right? When there was Did you kill yourself ten times in your head, bro? No, let me tell you, I had such bad sweats that night when I was staying I started to stay on site, right? So I couldn't leave. I had to go for the post egg ward round. Imagine I was like shivering on the ward round. Did you speak to anyone? I spoke to the consultant. What I had did to the tell consultant them. Say? The consultant says, right, you need, we need to get consent from the patient to take her blood, to take your blood, send it off. It can take three months. Three and, months? Um, as in, no, no, not, not three months. You have to be on um, prophylaxis for three months. And Were you? Virals. Yeah. Were you on? So I didn't take them because I was really scared to take. That's really weird, bro. It's really, really weird. And then. Um, Anyway, oh, just, can you just clear everyone? You ain't got AIDS, obviously, yeah? Oh, I can't look. <laughs> that Dave Chappelle's <laughs> 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 Oh my God, it's biological. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> so he, so what That's it was, mad, bro. Yeah, so, alhamdulillah, she was cleared. Alhamdulillah. She didn't have AIDS then. She had, but she had something else, but I didn't, alhamdulillah, I didn't contract it. Okay, right. But the point I'm getting at is I went home and all I could think about was mom. I was the first one to get to med, you know, alhamdulillah. Yeah. I mean, everyone got done the university of some sort, but... There was something my mum was so like was so happy that her hard work, everything she's been doing, yeah. all of that one of her kids can, you know, 
Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So I came on, I thought, I'm going to break her dream. I came up and said, Mom, um, I got, and, uh, my baby sister was, she's actually at med school now, Alhamdulillah. So I was holding her in my hand. She was like about, I think maybe uh, six months, seven months. So I was holding my hand. I said, Mom, can I talk to you? Said, yeah. And I said, um, Mom, I, f- I think I might end up losing my position as a medical student. Because what happened? I said, Oh, you know, I, I got a needle stick injury and it might mean that I can't work. And, da, da, da. and she went, So? She goes, So? She goes, so, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Allah is great. What's, so? I went, what do you mean? So, so, so what? And Alhamdulillah, Baba Jun, get on with your day, man. And I was like, Look at that, man. What? Mama, she took a thousand kilos off. Yeah. When I spoke to her about this about two years ago, and she said to me, She goes, You know, when you came and spoke she to me, she goes, I nearly died. <laughs> 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 she goes, I was dying no, for those months. Ma- yeah. Mashallah. She said, I was dying when you told me that because I thought, Oh my God. Because, well, you know, I came back with that A level result. I said, Mom, I've done it. She started darling. And she was really, really happy. You know? A level result? But. Yeah. But you know, I was get to med school, right? Oh, right. So I thought you meant that. I said, you know, when I got the med school yeah. results, so because that was it. She goes, I'm, I'm good. Because what happened was, a letter came in the post for me, and it said, Dr. Islami. And my mum was like, Bro, she kept it to her chest. You know, bro, oh, she came, yeah. village lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for her, it was a big thing, subhanAllah. And yeah, man. So if she. Always gave us that. Uh, another example again about pa- uh, learning from parents. Uh, our neighbors were real monsters to us, right? Absolute uh, villains. And I said, Mom, I've had enough. I'm going to go beat them up. She grabbed my hand. She goes, How dare you speak about our neighbors like that? Do you know what they mean to us? Do you know how much rights they have over us? And, I, and t- imagine I was about 17, that stuck with me yeah. for life. It's, it's what you do, not what you say, man. Allah. So we're gonna say something. I'm just saying what he's, what, when he when he spoke to his mum about the thousand kilos of thing. So I'm, and I'm about like like, I'm about like, like no, no, I'm just saying. But yeah, same, same thing I'm happens in it. Yeah. They they know you, and that's what you needed to hear Allah right there. I needed that. You need to hear that. I mean, even even Chuka probably got, got to her room yeah. and cry, but she he, he needed to hear Allah. that. And that's 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 the thing about being present. Yeah, hundred percent. Because if you're not present, you won't know what your son or your daughter needed to hear. Because so. they might actually you you might have instances where they come to the talk to you and you're like all over the place. Yeah, and you and, yeah. That, and that's that opportunity At that where you missed. At that point, missed. they they they, they needed, needed you. you. Yeah. They needed you. And you my, uh, every time I speak, when, when I have confided in my mum, definitely my dad as well. Mashallah, bro. But, but talking about mothers, bro. Yeah, but but, but, but everyone but has this. What she says to me? Ah. <laughs> he does that to me. Ah. You know that. You know that. It's like, oh, oh. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's like, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And then oh. when you leave, she's like, Yeah, Allah. <laughs> like, hey, you guy, and they have to. They can't sleep at night, brother. <laughs> yeah, they so, can't. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? So, but I think I think all of us need that. Yeah. Like I think even even in your relationships and stuff. Like, bro, imagine mm. someone comes to you in a pro- even at workplace and stuff. Yes, imagine you came with a problem and I start crying. Yeah. Oh my god. And it, you oh, come with a problem as well. And I start crying and you start crying. It's yeah. like, okay, bro, then we're gonna be them See guys it. that were crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can we say it? Can we say no, it? No, don't say don't it. Say don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't you say might join a club or something. Might join one of those clubs. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so like that, and there's nothing wrong with people yeah. crying. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but what? But you 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 went there. To get hope, to yeah. hope, and you need, and, and the that, thing is, that is so important. Like even you know when I when I had the gym, I, I, um, and I kept saying to people, uh, all of us, all of us run businesses and stuff, mashallah. So I think um, when we had the when I had the company, I kept saying to everyone, I go running a company, you you have to become a problem solver. Mm. That is what running the company yeah. is. Mm. I didn't know when I opened a gym, I had to become a cleaner, a dad, a, a, cleaner, a cleaner, a maintenance yeah. guy, a plumber, electrician. I didn't know all this stuff. Yeah. I had locksmith. So these and what and I remember certain people that we used to have working there when when an issue would come. Go to the Khalid. No, they would they'd, they'd panic. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. And I was like, yo, bro, chill out, bro. Chill out. I go, you're making everyone scared just with the way you're behaving. <laughs> like, because you're freaking out. Can you, can you imagine you came to hospital? Oh my god, you're gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> it's true though, it's true though. Yeah. But it was like there was a we had a fire in the um, electric box. Yeah, and the guy working at the time, mom, he panicked. He was screaming, "Oh my god, fire, fire!" I walked in. And I thought, "Oh my god, the whole place is gonna go up, bro." Imagine an electric box now, yeah. So I said to the guy, "Go next door," and I, and I was very calm. Go next door, shut the main power off. We shut the main power off, and then fire went off. And I got the, I got the fire extinguisher, and, and it was so good. No, and, and, and it's just it was it was literally just that's my um, that was my learning process of running the gym, uh, running a place or business. Was that you had to become a problem solver rather than 
because they're looking for Adding answers. Program, they're, lo- yeah. they're looking for answers. Leadership, from you. bro. Leadership. Yeah, looking for answers from you. So I think I was going to say, uh, it's even it happens in medicine. For some reason, we like to cat- catastrophize everything. Yeah, that's it. That's oh the word god. I was going to. Oh, oh my god! Not Why? fantasticate. No, c- 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 catastrophize. That's so the word. Like, <laughs> when you look at it, you think, what, 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 what's the worst that can happen? Drop dead, right? So it hasn't happened. So what's the problem? And I think I I, I remember one day I was talking to one of my kids, and they s- I said to her, "What do you reckon the most important thing is?" She goes. Are getting all A's and I went to her no it's being really close to God I said that's the most important if you guys can do that you, you, you've you you've made me so happy yeah that's what I said to my kids I said that's what I want is just get close to God if you're a dustbin sweeper yeah, I, I, and you're I, close I, to and, God and you're, you're a good person yeah. and, and, and you fear Allah bro all but these but things but default, you, can't, you, can't, you can't be close to God and be a horrible person yeah, a, yeah. This not so not you, by being close to God it means you're doing all of the things having humility yeah. loving the neighbour caring for the wayfarer protecting the orphan being charitable you, you know, by default it, it, the, it, it, so when I say being close to God it encapsulates all, all of that, those yeah. things right? but also you're not mutually exclusive you don't have to be yeah. you can be successful and have that as well yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Do, you know, do you know what I said to one guy um, I met recently and he was talking about how he wanted to be, become successful and he was talking about money and cars and stuff and I said to him what I look what I find success is being content with the man that you look at in the mirror mm. and I go I go when you when you can look at yourself in the mirror and you're content with the mm, person that's that a difficult thing to do bro, as well bro. but mm. that's what I'm saying to you but that's that's all the values you guys just mm. said mm. and that's so that encapsulate, uh, encapsulates everything so mm. you look at that and you say you know what I, I don't do I don't wake up in the morning trying to harm people yes. yeah. I don't yeah. I don't yeah. wake up in the morning trying to be, I try to think of best best yeah. of the yeah. best yeah. of of, of yeah. people yeah. I try yeah. to work I do iba- working is ibadah so I provide so for my so I provide so for my family but them guys you take your hats off, bro. I, I always remember watching this thing, like um, a, a man that goes to work at six, seven o'clock in the morning and comes back late at night and even the women that are supporting their family and stuff and they're doing that even though they don't like doing it and they're going to support their families, bro. You got to take your hats off to them people, bro. Yeah, 100%. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like they're doing it for you. Yeah. yeah. So it's very important that... That we uh, appreciate these type of people, Allahi, and then Allahi. and then they even themselves they should appreciate themselves. Allahi. Like you, yourselves round of applause. That's <laughs> it. Bro. I remember I used to, um, I had to leave university because there was this kind of situation with my housing Suffering and housing, stuff. Yeah, yeah. We spoke about and this. I had to leave university and I had to get a job uh, delivering sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, and can I ask you a question? Did you, you used know? to eat the sandwiches? They're, we were allowed to, but oh, they were nasty, yeah. bro. <laughs> The right. che- cheese and pickle. Yeah, th- those type of ones, bro. I love like, them. Like cheese they're, they're Oh yeah, my god! Disgusting, bro. <laughs> and I'm not so a sandwich go, go, guy. Go, go. You know, coming from an Algerian household and eating those sandwiches, bro. It's yeah. like a I might as well go spit <laughs> on, on, on my mum's face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? But uh, stuff, like, I would never do that. But you know what I mean. Yeah. So I remember g- that we had. I had to get up at two in the morning, so I'd have to sleep at six to get up at two in the morning, bro. Yeah. And I never told my kids this, bro. And I hope they're listening. Yeah. I used to go into their room and watch them sleeping, bro, mm-hmm. before I go. No, Wallahi, bro, I'd go in. It's like, you know, you just pluck. I'm like, oh, I can't be able to do this, bro. I'd go into the room. This is I'd you, hold them on this their is, head this like this. This is why this. you're doing it. Well, I'd smell their hair. This is why you're doing it. And I look at my missus. This is why I'm doing and it. I, yeah, and I go. This is why I'm doing and bro, it. Wallahi, bro, you know, December time, bro. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. And then, bruv, you get to the depot, you have to load up the sandwiches at the right order, bruv. And then you, you and you hit the road, bro, yeah? There's no one about. Only crackheads and, 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 and foxes, bruv, mm-hmm. yeah? And then, bruv, well, like, when I finish at... So, imagine, 2 a.m., I'd finish at 1 p.m. Oh, m- yeah. m- Midday. M- like I was saying. Same, I'm sure all no, of you... F- no, no one sees it. No one sees you, it. Obviously, I just found out about. Yeah, of course. As in, of course. And as there. a father, that's the sacrifice you make, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, and I know my dad did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure you guys did the yeah, same yeah, thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you get me? But the thing is, I never expected them to kind of say to me, "Oh, well done." Subhanallah, there's this innate kind of your natural disposition as a dad, bro. But didn't didn't you, didn't you? Didn't and I'm sure mums as well. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm just talking like about. Yeah. 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 But but didn't you always believe? It's deep down, you're like. As long as they're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, exactly. Like if one of them are all right, okay, I can't function. Yeah. But if everyone's happy, like, alhamdulillah, I'm yeah, okay. Yeah, this is it. Do you see that? That's the difference, right? Yeah, 100%, bro. That you sacrificed yourself 
and inshallah we still sacrifice ourselves in the name of Allah to protect the children, to give them a good outcome in their in their in their inner being and their outer being in this world and in the hereafter, right? Amen. That's the reality, Allah yeah. I mean. And that's that's all we're doing. And to kind of like top it this off, like when you guys so I'm talking talk to the boys here, bro, and like you leave school, you go to college, and the aim is here to start a family, bro. So yeah. not not enough is talked about this, bro. Yeah. Mm. You find yourself a good woman, bro. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and and we take the advice of them. Oh, young men get married. Get married as young. Y- as young. Uh, yeah. Soon. Find yourself a good woman, bro. Yeah. Who's not gonna compete with you, bro? Who's not? Who's not your enemy or your friggin? Who is your? Was it what? adversary? Adversary, bro. No. Who is agreeable, bro? Who wants to start a family with you yeah. and have children? I'm not saying it's for everyone, but if you truly want to live. A content, happy life, bro. Yeah. There's nothing like that, bro. Yeah, sir. There's nothing like that. That you come home, and your your house is warm. But can, can I? I'm say not I'm talking about yeah. physically warm, bro. Your, your children are Energy, happy, yeah. bro. And and then what you have to do, what you have to do, you need to make yourself into a machine, bro. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? A friggin' savage, bro. You go, you study hard, you train hard, you make your body fit, physically fit, your mind strong like a steel trap. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because Life will throw curveballs at you. We've all on this table. We've all had to support each other through madness, bro. Yeah, yeah. The last ten years, bro. We were on our knees multiple times, bro. Why do you think my slipping game's good? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> but you see, what I'm saying because you're gonna and surround yourself with people like that. Don't surround yourself with people who are talking to the to you about their Rolex, bro. About you know, I got a new car. Those people leave them to the side, bro. You don't need people like that, bro. No Rolex, bro. Yeah, that's Not it. Nothing. That's it. <laughs> Wallahi, bro. I, I, if you can surround yourself, because you will attract people. Like if you're that kind of person, you'll attract. Go and train. Learn a combat art, bro. Learn a combat sport. Be the pillar of your household, bro. I'm talking about at 16 years old, you can do that, man. Mm. And when you go to university, study hard. If you don't want to go on you, do whatever you have to do to make yourself a learned man, bro. Just pray yeah. hard, bro. Yeah. Go to the masjid. Yeah. Learn your deen, bro. I'm being yeah. serious, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget Andrew Tate and all these waste men online telling you how to be a man. It's very simple, man. Very simple. Do what you're supposed to do. Not what you want to do. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, d- yeah. If you go through your whole life doing what you just want to do, you're going to end up buying one of these courses, blood, to yeah. teach you how to be a man. That's what it is. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell you straight, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you're supposed to do. We all know what we're supposed to do, and bruv. Those, those people, you're welcome to come to Legion and I'll teach you how to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but re- I mean, you know what? I'm sure there's benefits to it. I'm not going to throw shade at anyone, but well, like, it's like this... this Hype train, bro. It's very simple, man. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't be an oppressor. Be strong physically. Be strong mentally. There's plenty of places to go and learn. Does that make sense? And 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 that's that's basically it, bro. I'm sure there's more. There's a lot, obviously, a lot more to it. But don't, like I said, if you follow this principle, do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do all the time, bro. You'll be you'll be fine. But I think I think you, the one of the most powerful <coughs> things is to have people around you. That are going to give you the energy, yeah. the confidence, the ability to grow, and and I tell you, we we've seen it amongst a lot of the kids at our club who are now young adults and becoming adults, and they had crises in their life, and we were there to kind of be there and to anchor them and yeah. to support them, and I think if you look at that, that in itself is a powerful tool, and I think there's not many places that do that, because they just take your money and tell you to get on with it. And I think this this is this is really important. I think that's why we're probably struggling all the time because when something is good, it's always going to have difficulty put yeah, upon 100%. it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because it has to be tested. If it was going to open up some useless place selling rubbish, recreational crap, and has no benefit to, it will probably do really well in it. But something like this has got so much potential. Has got so much benefit. And 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 I tell you, this is why we're always having difficulty at the club. Not 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 physical difficulty, but in terms of dynamics logistics always having to deal with something wild and wonderful on a weekly basis and i think that that is the true testament of that place can i just add something um, yeah. just quickly i know i want you guys to do a test yeah and you, and, and 2750 that's the right answer bro. thank you um, <laughs> uh, so so i'm saying if you've got people around you yeah and i want you to just imagine in your head are there people that always praise you i'm being serious if you're surrounded by people that 
all that comes out their mouth is, oh, nice trainers, hype, nice this, that, that. Oh, that's, that's red flag number one. Yeah. Red flag number two. Do you feel comfortable in telling them, correcting them when they do something wrong? Mm. When they do something that is out of uh, immoral or unethical, unethical yeah? If, you've, if, if you have to think twice about telling that person that's immoral, yeah, or well, that's unethical and that doesn't fit it's with my, like you said, core now. values, th that's the red flag number two. Do you see what I'm saying? And if, and if the red flag number three is, look, if you if if they're only around, so look look at, look where you are in your life right now. If you're relatively successful, just wait a bit more, and when you start to dip, if they're still there, then well, can I add to that? Yeah, Someone that Khalid said to me a long time ago that his dad told him, and I, it stuck with me for years. Man, you, can you say it, inshallah? Yeah, he said. When he <laughs> said that, his father told him said. You know, when you're a winner, you've got many, many fathers. When you're a loser, you're an orphan. It's 100%. Bro. Well, like, when I heard that, I was like, that is so deep. Yeah. Well, like, so heavy. Mm. That is so true. That when you're literally on your knees, let's see who's going to kick you in the mouth. Uh, or who's going to put their hand up and says, come on, I'm here. Let me lift you up. I was going to say that just to top off the third point, yeah, it's, you know, when people, I'm sure you, you'll have people like this around you that, Oh, you never call me, man. You never link me. You know those type of people, bro? <laughs> Delete. Stay away from them, man. Stay away from them. They're emotional vampires, bro. Yeah. yeah so. Like, for example, I've got friends. Yeah. Like, you forgot about me. Oh, you forgot about me, man. Where you been, man? Like, bro, where you been? I don't understand. Like, is there a place we're supposed to be? I don't yeah. understand. But like, um, there's people that I, I know. Maybe I don't even see them for three years. And I meet them up and we start, we kind of pick up yeah. where we left off, innit? Mm. Does that make sense? And there's not even like, for example, the relationship we have. Sure. Allah mubarak, bro. Mubarak. Let's not start crying, bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the time I met you. <laughs> but like, like for example, uh, we don't put pressures on you each other. You start crying, I'm getting up and leaving. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm going to get my hoover and leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never telling any more stories. I'm done, bro. I'm done. But like, me um, and Henry are out. That's it, man. <laughs> but like, it's, 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 it's not like, you can exist by yourself and together. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I don't, we don't. You don't need me. I don't need you. We don't need each other. Mm. But we choose to be together, but like, and that's that, important. But this is what this is what we were saying. If you can get, you know, this mentality that you've ha obviously um, got over the years yeah, now, cultivated, it, cultivated yeah. over the years. Now that needs to be instilled into youngsters. This mm. is it, bro. Yeah. And that that is important because you've you've grown maybe when we were younger we made those mistakes yeah, and now we need these kids to understand like i said i honestly believe this core value thing yeah. mm. if you because once you write an affirmation that this is yeah. who i am and you mm. write it down mm. it's yeah. very easy to make your decisions 100%. and then you know who you start who you are who your friends are who mm. what you don't like what you do like and you, you but me telling a liar that i don't want to roll with him do you think i'm gonna lose sleep over him mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll never lose it because I know it's the right thing to do. Allah. The problem is when you don't write this stuff down or you don't know who, what you stand for, uh, I, I feel bad I said no to him. And then, yeah. you, then you start getting swayed into other things. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think a lot of my, well, lie, I'm not joking, bro. Um, my dad instilled in us very, very early on, bro. Like, because we saw oh, how he's like, bro. Yeah. Like, my dad, bro, does he have friends, bro? Nah. As in, as in, he doesn't have many friends. Yeah. yeah. He knows, he, he has people he He's knows. He's got this nose for things. He's, I told you about yeah, certain yeah. people, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's come up to me and said, you know this guy, hey, I don't like the way hey. he moves. His, his eyes, eyes his moving. eyes, yeah. they're moving. They move too much, bro. too close. Yeah, yeah, this is too close. <laughs> Give up. And, and. <laughs> or they're too wide apart. <laughs> yeah. Which one was it? They're wide apart. <laughs> But just uh, he knew. Like, his eyes are too wide open. <laughs> wow, <bro. laughs> what a cool shark eye! Yeah. <laughs> so he got, like, but but he has that intuition, isn't it? And he and and like he's got very high standards of himself, isn't it? He doesn't lie to people. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah. like he didn't have to tell me with his mouth, bro. Like obviously he's had conversations with me when I've stepped out of line, bro, and he's given me. His, but he's never like like I've had. Once I've become an adult, I realize, bro, I'm turning into my dad, bro. I realize that. Mm. And that's the thing. It's like, as a father, these are the things that you're supposed to be putting in place in your house so your son doesn't have to go and listen to Andrew Tate, bro. Mm. Real talk, man. I know we keep bringing this guy up, yeah? But there, there's a reason why. But he, he, he's become part of a framework now, isn't he? Yeah, because... This is what you have to be now. 
to be successful. This is it. Unfortunately, bro. we have to bring his name up, which I think is disgusting. But a poor guy's got banned on all platforms or whatever. Yeah, nah, but not a poor but guy. the reason why he, he knew exactly what he was doing. But he's hit a nerve, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Just what I'm saying, he's hit a nerve, and he's got a cult following now. This is it, bro. And unfortunately, a lot most of them are young youths, women. And bruv, it's funny like the antichrist, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it could be, bro. It could be. <laughs> Minor but, antichrist. Um, let's end on this, inshallah, bro. Actually, I've got like a little uh, thing. Can I, can have I just say one thing about? Yeah, go on. We mentioned that depression, anxiety, right? Yeah. And it, it's a beautiful statement of people of the past. They said, "We live in three days," and it's nearly borderline on what happened with uh, Kung Fu Panda. But they say that. Um, but it's a saying of the people of the past, right? I'm listening so right the one of the days is the past. There's nothing you can do about that because it's past now. And the second thing is the future. And there's not much you can do about it because it hasn't come about. All you can live in is the, is the present. And hence you haven't got that time to actually do what you can in that time that you're allowed to in that present time. And obviously in Kung Fu Panda, what does Yugui say to uh, uh, Kung Fu Panda? Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. Today is a gift. That's, That's why, why they call it a present. Yeah. Mm. That's a wise turtle, bro. Yeah, but he's probably someone's chow down, I don't know. <laughs> skin, turtle soup. <laughs> well, he died, skin, didn't it? Yeah, he didn't die. He faded into that. He yeah, became yeah. part of the energy. Yeah. Whatever yeah, that is, man. Go on, you can say, bro. Uh, yeah, so we have so to remind you about something. Yeah, yeah. So I have to end on this, yeah. So a few weeks ago, um, my mom saw this reel on Instagram. Yeah, with me and Zach. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I said to her I was going to apologise bro So she saw so real me and Zach, she goes, I told him to shut up it? Mm. Yeah And so she messages me yeah. She was in Was she in Algeria at the time? I don't even know bro Let me see if I can find the message bro. There was no need fam. I know it's no need Because obviously we know what uh, We're brothers fam. Yeah yeah I, I know But obviously your mom tells you to do something Bet You get you, me bro. You better do it innit <laughs> So she sent me she said to me, you Oh my get, god, gonna get a major. She bought me off today as well. The, yeah, she bought <laughs> you off. <laughs> she goes to me, Salam, I'm a little bit upset by the way you say to Zach, Shut your mouth live on internet. <laughs> 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 she goes, It's not good to disrespect your brother like that. He is a man, not a boy. <laughs> Mashallah. Bro, Mashallah. This is it, bro. Uh, so when I see. <laughs> uh, let's get out. You know what she said. When I see the other, when I see the other brother podcast, she's talking about Dilly, yeah, uh, uh, the Blood Brothers. They are very respectful to each other. You didn't even leave Zach to speak. <laughs> there is need. There need, need to be uh, mutual respect, even if he's younger than you. When I saw that, my heart hurt. And she put oh, a broken heart. Subhanallah. Oh, today, so, today. You know when parents how fam. to use those emojis? Yeah, yeah. That's like <laughs> cry time. She killed me, bro. bro today, I was like, Wallahi. Today they had a video. They had a video. Well, let, me, let me finish my apology oh, and then you can it. talk about your thing, yeah? Bro, it's, 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 Give me camera one. Oh, okay. Give me camera one. So, um, mate, look, I apologize. Zakaria, do you accept my apology, bro? bro I, I didn't mean I to. I accept it a very long time ago, bro. I know, but like, we have to do it for the internet, innit? Because I, because the thing, I would have done it in private. Because it was on the internet, now I've got to apologize on the internet, innit? So, um, mate, hopefully you forgive me, bro. I know you said that. I already forgive you. Um, I love and you, sorry bro. for the really bad accent. I'm not trying to mock, yeah? It's just <laughs> just for the, you know, for the flavor, flavor. inshallah, yeah? So, I've done it. Imra, make sure you clip it on Insta, yeah? I wanted to see it. So, even though I'm like a big man, do you see what I'm saying? We still have to listen to our mothers. Bro, and today... I'm not too old for a spanking either, bro. So. <laughs> bro, today my sister sent a video. Don't even say what you said in that video. <laughs> of, of Muhammad, he was wearing tight trousers. And I must have said side. <laughs> and then she goes, Zach, don't be rude. Respect your elders. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologise. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I, I, I love the way our parents try to speak to us on text. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. destroyed. Mama was language. smashing it on WhatsApp, bro, man. My mum, my, my, my bless mum. She now what she does. You know, there's a function where you can actually press it, <laughs> and, and you, you can talk into to it. it. Yeah, yeah, mum does voice yeah, notes. That, that, that's what oh, voice notes. No, or yeah. the, 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 the translation. The trans. It turns your voice into text to type. Oh, she just does yeah. voice notes for me. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I look at him, and I'm like, mum, alhamdulillah, you figured this one out because before I couldn't get. It was all over the place, mashallah. Amir, you brad love you very good. Why you go? Well, they, we understand, didn't it? Mashallah, mm. bro. And mm. don't get it twisted. We're I'm, I'm, men. And, 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 and by the way... Are you going to take this Hoover home? <laughs> 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 
Oh, I mean, why did you not hoover in the house? You hoovered the place. I used to love cleaning my house. Did you hoover the house? All the time. Were you clean? Actually, me and Matt. No, 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 no. One second, one second. Were you a tidy guy? I be honest. I love cleaning, bro. No, no, no. no As in bro. Listen, I, 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 look at me dead I in the have, eyes, I man. I had OCD about Yeah. Look at me. Uh, go Zach's go. my witness, yeah? Go, go. Look me dead in the eyes. <laughs> yeah? Did Was your room clean, bro? But okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Go Why is it, yeah, that when we said to you, can you put your shoes on the shoe rack <laughs> in the gym? <laughs> Bro, Zach, how many conversations? Bro, too many times, bro. Too bro, this guy, he, you know his shoes, it's like he disappeared. You know, like someone's disappeared. So his shoes and his trousers and everything. <laughs> <laughs> with like two rigs, like it's like someone just disappeared, bro. But if he could, he'd put it in your mouth, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> nah, nah, to be fair, to be fair. He does, okay, he just, I... you know, with him, he's got so bad OCD that he's got this spot. If he decides yeah, that's the yeah, spot yeah, where he's yeah, gonna yeah, put yeah. his stuff, yeah, bro, it? yeah, it's it's on the. I it's, took someone's bag when I left. No, yeah, yeah. it has it to be that specific spot, bro. Just check his man bag, bro. That's just messy. Bro, can you can you bring out your bag, bro? Like, just bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. That man bag is messy. Let's do you it. Can, I, can I open that. it, bro? Of course. You but can. I'm not gonna take anything out. You're welcome to. Okay, one second, because you guys have to see what this guy's got in his bag. This bag goes everywhere, bro. So can I take the stuff out? Of course you can, okay, man. So there's nothing entertaining okay, in there. So he's got one. This. Yeah. Go on, camera one. Camera one. That's go the Uber part. part. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> so he's got obviously the, the obviously this, but where's all this medicine that you have in here, bro? Oh, I I, I actually took it out. Oh, so you cleaned it up? I That's why you gave out. it, yeah. you cheat. Syringes, needles, tablets, everything, bro. That pump is for two-year-olds, bro. What's going on? No, it's an aero chamber. It's for everyone, bro. But it's got a teddy bear on the side, bro. Uh, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time we went to the restaurant, yeah, and. Um, <laughs> And, and, but this is how much he annoys me, bro. Yeah, like his quirks. Yeah, so we've sat down. Yeah. I've ordered for you. Yeah, first thing he ordered for me, bro. Yeah, I'm like, I want a donna. He goes, no, 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 just have the chicken uh, grill. I go, bro, it's bland. I don't want it, bro. I want some donna. No, but I just, I was like, oh, fine. I didn't want to argue with him. And then he goes, did you wash your hands? I was like, bro, I'm a grown man, bro. <laughs> he goes, bro, just wash your hands. I go, I don't want to wash my hands. I go, just. Then he took out this thing. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, just, just use it. I've just learned what I've learned. Yeah, I've just, bro, I've just listened to him, bro. Because he just doesn't shut up, bro. He just go with it, bro. Go with it. Handler. And but, then but, COVID hit, and now everyone's like, you know. Do you know the hoovering thing? Just a quick yeah. point. Oh, wow. Ma Ma <laughs> do you know who was the ultimate hoover? <laughs> Mashi. Mashi! Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. he'd bring the shake and vac out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember. And, and he would hoover in lines like his. Uh, <laughs> he'd take tea breaks yeah. when he hoovers. He right. Singing. Yeah, singing, karaoke. But no shirt time. on. No, no shirt, shirt on. You take your shirt off. <laughs> I may smash you, man. Oh, he's bringing back, bro. Just once a week. Where is he, man? He's uh, doing his thing, innit? Hold on, we'll talk about that later, inshallah. Sure. Sure. What about you? Do you, uh, what's, what are you like? Is your room clean? Clean? Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, it, nah. <laughs> I'm wherever I take my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trail of clothes. You know what cracks me up about Khalid, bro? He's got a bag, yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> big. <laughs> and then he's got clothes on top of the bag as well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You know how bad I am though? You know what I do? I pick up- What's in that bag, bro? Everything. Everything. Why? I don't know. That's what right. I said. Maybe at that point, Kay, you're about to escape. <laughs> I pick I pick a top up and yeah. I think, I need this top to train with, yeah. but I might train again, so I need this one. <laughs> then I need this one. I just keep taking it and I got, and I got all my whole wardrobe in my- Yeah, in my, because above the bag is yeah. like this big. And then I take a gi and I feel I might need that gi as well. So I take <laughs> But this gi's in my car on the seat. Every yeah, oh, I, I have a bad habit of just doing it all. But you know this guy. <laughs> and I always have. Uh, what you I always have my gloves. Yeah, yeah, hang yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, my gloves yeah. just in case just I might do MMA and jiu-jitsu for some reason, <laughs> or I might start punching someone. I don't know why. This guy, I remember one time, first time he dropped me off somewhere. Yeah, like um, so I've opened the door. Well, I'm not joking, bro. There must have been about four hundred bottles, blood. <laughs> You know, empty bottles. Yeah. 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 Water bottles. Water bottles. Bruv, yeah. you've seen this car, innit? Yeah. Like, it's like, Smaller when you're going to empty it, bro? He's got a small car as yeah, well, bro. Car. It's like Mario Kart, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bark a it, guys, and it's late on a Sunday, bro. Um, so, uh, I guess we're going to have to end it here, bro. So, guys, thank you very much for listening. If you got to the end, I'll see you on the next one.